my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side, CJ act, now I gotta roll with ice. Cold, these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side, CJ act, now I gotta roll with ice. Ride or die, 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 ride or die. Cold, these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. Now I go ride or die. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Saucy Podcast. This episode brought to you by True Image Auto Care. True Image is a fully mobile detailing service covering Jacksonville and surrounding areas. It's January, and it's already pollen season. So if you need True Image to come to your job and clean it on site, then make an appointment today. True Image Auto Care can be found on Facebook, Instagram, at trueimageautocare.com, by email at trueimageautocare at gmail.com, or by phone at 904-859-1193. That's 904-859-1193. Thanks for joining the Saucy Podcast family and for the support. Now on to the show. Click it. Click it or ticket. Episode 36. Bro, that intro comes in. You got to go fucking high energy, dude. I'm like, let's go to a rave after this. I want to get some glow sticks and <laughs> just tear Drink shit em. up. Oh, wait. Yeah. No. I don't think that could last. What, a rave? Hell oh, yeah. no. Not, 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 not with asleep. these knees. I'm going to be asleep by 10. <laughs> yeah, like, can y'all keep it down? I'm trying to sleep. Can y'all shut that shit up? <laughs> right. No, it ain't for me, dude. Bro, how about this weather? Fuck this weather. <laughs> Bipolar as hell. Oh, man. There's people that actually are like, I love this. They're insane. All right. That's what I said. Nah, it's chilly. Zoo is dumb. Dumb cold. Yeah. Like, I couldn't, like, I was I was supposed to go to the dealership today and, and grab a car. I'm not thinking, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. They found me frozen to the Mercedes. Bro. Like, I get, before we get a disclaimer, don't, don't tweet me with... Oh, it's colder here. Like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, nah. the fact is that it shit froze you're, overnight. You're, you're accustomed to it? It was 85 degrees like three days ago. Right. And now it's 40. Not even. Well, today was like 40. Okay. So, right? it's, but like, it's fucking cold. Overnight, it was below freezing. Yes. It's cold. Night's even colder. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I made that post yesterday about if you leave your dog outside. Oh, in this weather? Yeah, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, you're an asshole. For sure. Then, oh, good. Huskies. I mean, look. Okay. okay. That dog is built for, it's not breed specific. Sure. I'm just saying, if you leave your dog outside in this weather, okay, even if it is a husky, you're still a dick. <laughs> I mean, they're they're meant to like. Bring, okay, bring in your husky. Pull through Alaska. But this bring is Bring in Alaska. your St. Bernard's. This you, ain't Alaska. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that dog didn't grow up in Alaska, so yeah. it's not yeah. acclimated for that He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's cold. Yeah. Like, hey, hold up, man. For sure. I'm like, everybody want to chime in with the, oh. My dog, my, this, my, my, dog my dog built like this. My dog Bring your built. damn dog in. Bring your cat in. Yeah. Whatever. Shit. We even covered up our damn aloe vera plant outside. Dude, they're finna iguana's finna be falling out of the trees, they say. <laughs> like, damn, I'm gonna catch so me cold, one. cold, they're gonna fall. Dude. I'm gonna catch me one. Come here. Uh, do I went to Puerto Rico one time? Talking about iguanas? Yeah. Or every fucking where. Oh, yeah, they're uh, real bad down south. Like Crazy. Miami, Fort Lauderdale. They eat them in some countries. Yeah, I was. It's like a delicacy. Nope. Fuck all that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm trying to pick all that meat off them bones. I ain't <laughs> like. I don't, I don't see how people can eat dog either. Do people do that? Yeah, in other countries. Oh, shit. I'm fucking sorry, mother. Probably leave them outside too. Yeah, raggedy bitches. <laughs> sorry, bitches. Yeah. This this stupid cold. Oh yeah, it's not not fun. I mean, the people that don't mind the weather don't have to be in it. Yeah, you know, I hate that shit too. Yep. Oh, it's nice. Is it from your office or yeah. you know what I mean? From your office view, and for sure. I don't have to work outside. I chose this profession. Yes. You know what I mean? But I also chose to live in Florida where it doesn't get this cold. Yeah, like, <laughs> we're supposed to veto that shit, but. but no more. No yeah. more winter. Can Just we impeach the weather? Dog, I'm rolling like high socks, bro. Well, damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm still in shorts, though. But I had to be in it. Can't do it. So. Did you fire the uh, the space heaters at oh, work? Oh, yeah. I Cut bet. the door shut. Run the space heaters. Shut the motherfucker door. <laughs> Fired up. Well, I got high off the propane. Like I'm Hank Hill or whatever, dude. Also, so, propane, <laughs> propane accessories. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, get this back What his kids say? So I'm like, I could sell propane and propane accessories too if my grades are good enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? 
I'll let you drink first. Because mm. you got to catch up. Oh, yeah? You oh, really you're getting already, saucy oh, already? Oh, you're already. Okay. Sorry. You're there. Had a long day of not working, so. I edited photos this morning of that Jeep. It looked good. Did you and use they, mine or no? Yeah, I, I couldn't use it. It was good. I mean, you just had to level yeah, it a little ang- bit. The angle was a little off, but. Man, that's that new shit. You're almost there. I don't know if you know about that. Because you got that. You were doing the iPhone life. Yes. You should have been doing Android life. Oh, is that how you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sideways? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, do you watch TV like this? Or do you watch TV like that? Yeah. Yeah, see? Fair enough. It's not a TV, though. <laughs> You're right. Whatever. Stick to your job, I'll stick to mine. Fair point. <laughs> Fair point. Here you go. Yeah. So, let's see. I've had a whole list for us to talk you about. you got a whole stuff. bunch of shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. We just want to start off with fuck the weather. Yeah, fuck the weather. And shout out to Ross living in fucking the frozen tundra of fucking North Dakota. 30. Yeah. Bro. Suck my left nut. Nuts all up inside him. Oh, yeah. Gotta be. Oh, yeah. suck he, up inside your body when it gets he, that cool. Right, he's got two belly buttons right now. <laughs> right. Aren't you a boy? You're pre- Not right now. I'm a preemie. <laughs> just, if I pee, it just kind of dribbles out this hole. <laughs> At least bright side, you won't piss on your balls. Right. They're not there. They're just yeah, they're gone, up, dude. Gone. I can't imagine. Negative 30, like, that's death if you go outside for more than a couple minutes, right? Gotta be. Do you see a snowstorm in Canada? No. People open their fucking door, it's a, it's an ice wall. Oh, they're iced in. Yeah, no, like the snow's over their cars. Oh, it's, yeah, I'm out. It's nutty, bro. I'm out. Like, it's taking like two hours to like shovel out your house. And you probably got that one fucking asshole boss. Uh, are you gonna? Are you coming in <laughs> are or you not? coming in or what? Like, wait, like, bro, it's gonna take me three hours to chisel this shit. I gotta get some dog sleds together and my huskies, <laughs> and we'll be right there. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, because the huskies are made for this shit. Uh, uh-uh. if it's snowing like that, what do you do? I don't know. How you like these chairs? They're good. Yeah, all upright. Yeah. All proper. We're just slimming. Yeah, yeah. You know, not all hanging out. Yeah. Now my fat's just sitting on my dick. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of spreading out and sprawling to my hips, now right. they're just all just right there. Rudder. Right there. Yeah, they're good. It's a good um, acquisition. So you want to talk about these UFC fights for this past weekend? Who they? Yeah, the UFC card, man. I'm not paying $70 for a 40-second fight. Well, you fucking missed out yeah. if you didn't. Yeah, because the prelim started at 7 o'clock. There were some good-ass fights. Yes. You know, you get a whole card full of fights for 70 bucks. I mean, I don't buy everyone. Yeah. I don't watch everyone. Nope. But I don't mind paying for some. Nope. You know? Especially if it's a big card. You got a product, a good product. You have to, you have to buy the card if Connor's on it. Because oh. you don't know what the hell's going to happen. Well, and you want to lace them up with some money, you know. Oh, yeah. We could talk about that, too, because I got the stats from that. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. No, I didn't get that. Woo. <laughs> okay, you want to talk about uh, Connor's shoulder workout? Dude, he gave that to the business. With four, four shoulder shots. shrugs to the face. Oh. Bam, 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 bam. Changed the whole game, dude. Everybody in the back's probably looking, what the fuck just happened? It was to a point where people thought, Cowboy, and some people still do, that he took that he took a dive in that fight. Uh, no, he got his fucking nose broke. I mean, you got I mean, you get surprised with good shots like that. I mean, he's in the clinch where he does work. Yeah. And yeah, it didn't four go. Four straight to the dome. And then followed up by a head kick. A head kick. Yeah, that's not a dive. He had no, no chance yeah. to react. I mean, go ahead and punch yourself in the nose one time and see how yeah. you clear you are. It's inc- it's incredible. Like you could see he was focused coming into the fight, the weigh-ins oh, yeah. and all that shit. But I don't think anyone expected him to start as fast as he did. No, because he did like a damn game bread run at his ass. He ran and he kind of overshot. He the, overshot the, the left. Uh, left. Right? Yeah, you know, he um, cowboy ducked it. Mm-hmm. Which even Connor said he goes. I was expecting him to duck it. He said he always ducks the it's that first fight. He back said he, he said my first. I was first back. He said I unloaded with that bitch. He said but he goes. I unloaded so much that even when my knee caught him in the damn solar plex in the stomach chest area, right? He said that kind of even rocked him. He that said, was a I, shot in itself. He yeah. said so. I grabbed him. He said and, you know, I just just gave him some shoulders to the face. Right. He said that fourth one smashed him. Yeah, you can see it. His oh, yeah. face changed. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, uh, uh. Like I told him, man, I was like, you don't usually see that like up against the cage or something. You, mm-hmm. You'll you see him in the, all, all they do is they just rotate their face to the other side and you don't get hit. Right, a little dirty boxing Well, action. in the center of the damn ring, there's nowhere to move to. Mm-hmm. No, because you're trying to be offensive if you're a mm-hmm. cowboy. And now all of a sudden you got this fucking you got Irish shoulder nose. coming at your face. <laughs> like He took that. I think he threw a leg kick, too. I think he threw a high kick, a head kick. But it didn't that? land. Uh, cowboy? Yeah. I didn't I didn't go back and watch the fight. And then Connor followed up with his and it he landed flush, flush on a chin. Down. Yeah. And he took yeah. Cowboy took it. He went down. He yeah. tried to cover up, but it was And Herb much. Dean gave him all the chances in the oh, world. Yeah. 
because you know Cowboy, he's a, he's a a warrior. He's scrappy. I mean? He can hang in there. You know, yeah. get beat on a little bit, but that one not unanswered come back from shots. No, nah. yeah. mm -mm. a few of those landed clean on his head. Forget it. He saved his life. <laughs> so how much money did uh, Connor give for that? So his his base salary that's disclosed, which I could, which we could say for sure, is three million dollars. No matter what. No matter what. To put that in perspective, Cowboy made two hundred thousand dollars. What the? <laughs> so Connor's pay. Um, including his win bonus, including his well, with his um, performance of the night bonus, it was three million and fifty thousand, whatever that you know, okay. three million dollars fifty thousand, whatever. Um, what about the pay per view? Buys? But the pay per view buys were somewhere in the neighborhood of two million pay per view buys which, all together, right? With well, what they can calculate based on the ESPN Plus model, I yeah, guess yeah, it's yeah. hard to track. But they're saying it's somewhere in the neighborhood of two million, which is kind of on par what they did with um, Khabib, yeah, and um. They're saying he probably walked away with thirty million after all that for a forty second. <laughs> yeah, but that's also going to be probably including his stuff from Proper Twelve being a sponsor. I mean? Right, he's getting paid on that. So, on. dude, plus his percentage. So, on. he came out and was saying that he was going to probably make somewhere around eighty million. Connor himself said that. Motherfucker, but dude. they did the math and tried to break. Let's it down. go fight somebody. <laughs> you got to do it really well for a long time. Oh, okay. Based on, um, I could talk shit. The pay per view model, and for him to make eighty million dollars based on two million, he would have had to be getting somewhere in the neighborhood of sixty two percent of the pay per view buys, which is unheard of. That's not. That's I don't not think real. that's right. No, so there's no way he made eighty million dollars. Mm -hmm. But so they're they're saying conservatively thirty, mm. which is a fucking lot. <laughs> A fucking million for almost every second he was in the ring. Oh, can you? Yeah. So, dude, just to make three million, like Holly Holm made two hundred, and that was including her fifty thousand dollar win bonus. Oh, really? So yeah, she only made two hundred. Well, her she was a fucking snooze fest. It was. I mean, that's my wife and all, but god damn, Raquel made sixty three. So you see how lopsided. You know what so I mean? On. Who's who? Who's doing her you contract? Need, yeah, you need a fucking better dude. agent. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It all. It, it pretty much all comes down to that contract. Yeah, it's how marketable you are too. Yep, you know what I mean. You got to make your Connor's marketable as shit. Oh yeah, his name alone sells the fight. Cowboy is marketable. Mm -hmm. Holly, mm. she she is because yeah, of what she, she did to is. um Ronda. You oh, know she's I mean? fucking solidified with that. Yeah, so she's gonna sell on. She'd be throwing that bitch for sure, even if she under, you know underperforms. Yeah, all she, all she did the entire fight was clinch. Which is crazy she, because yeah, cause she's not a clincher. She strikes. That's kind of where Raquel's strengths are. Raquel's like, the, who the fuck am I fighting? <laughs> Why, you know, and it, and it worked. You know what I mean? Yeah, she, it definitely worked. It was a unanimous decision. She was fucking strong, bro. Holly was strong she came in, in that fight. Yeah, she came in super lean. Like she took Raquel wherever the hell she wanted to. Raquel probably had a heart on the, the entire yeah, time. She was, uh, I don't know what to do. With I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. My, mm. So yeah, it was it was intense. Um, I think the other fight worth mentioning on the card was well, my girl got smoked dude she didn't really get smoked bro no because you really don't know how the fight would have played out she was getting her ass whooped in the first round she was getting caught with shots right but i mean so we're talking I, watched, I watched uh what's her name macy macy barber versus um the fucking, what's her, yeah. what's her first sarah? name no not sarah it is sarah no is it is sarah mod whatever no, it's not sarah are you sure? <laughs> no. Anyway, she's a fucking Power Ranger nerd. She's a super. Her her name's the Happy Warrior. Does it? But, um, yeah. So this girl's a veteran. She's been uh, a pro for a long time, but kind of a snoozy fighter. She's not very strong. Um, she's kind of like a gatekeeper of the yeah, weight yeah, class, yeah. and um, she's a stepping stone. I mean, that's what people thought. The biggest underdog, the biggest underdog on the card was her. Yeah, if you'd have bet a hundred dollars on her to win the fight, no, you'd, you'd have walked away rich. Paid. Right? She was a um, like a minus five hundred underdog. It was ridiculous. And Macy tears her ACL what the first start of the first, second round, beginning of the oh, second round, right? Was it the beginning or the very end of the first? I think it was at the end of the first. Because uh, I thought, because she got caught with a punch, she and fell she, back ste she stepped back. When mm -hmm. she stepped back, her knee just gave out. Mm -hmm. Right, she hits the ground. Old girl gets on top of her. Bloodies are up. Bloodies are up. Right. Puts a whooping on. I mean, this girl is on the ground, grabbing her knee, screaming. Old girl jumps on her, gives her the business, roughs her up some. Uh, but doesn't finish her. Doesn't finish her. 
she stands, they, you know, in and around, stands up. She walks back, you know, she tells the doctor to fuck off, you know, goes to her corner. Right. She's only like 21, 22 years old. Right. She's 8 0 in the UFC. Yeah. You know, she tells the doctor to fuck off, whatever, gets back to the corner. Don't, don't know what she says to her corner. I'm fine. Let me go. First time ever, even the announcer said it, first time ever they seen a doctor come into the ring, make her sit down, and they check her knee out. Right. The doctor said what? He said she partial had, tear. She has, a partial, he has a, she has a partial tear. She's good to go. She's good to go. <laughs> she gets out there. She gets fucking. She can't move. Mm-mm. She's a fucking. She's just standing there waiting she's, to get blasted. She's, she's ready to counter is basically what she's doing. Yeah, she's, she's looking for a counter, counter punch. Right. And I've seen, I seen her first fight, her um, her debut in the M- um, UFC. Right. She's a banger, bro. Oh, yeah. She'll take a shot. She doesn't fuck around. She, she, she'll she trade and bang. Yeah, she'll take a shot to give a shot. Which was interesting why she clinched with her in the first round. I didn't like that. Yeah. Um, Maybe we ought to call her camp. Like, oh, this is a saucy podcast. We're, uh, we're, we're here to put our, right. uh, our two cent in. Don't do that. Uh, can you tell my other ex-wife, my future ex-wife, that... Stand on the up. outside and yeah. and hit this chick. Yeah, she tried to she tried to get it done quick. Yeah, but it didn't work. What's crazy is after the knee injury, she almost had a Kimura. She yes. almost finished that yes. fight with a torn ACL yeah, uh, from her back. From her back, it didn't quite pair out. But it comes to find out, she lost the fight. Um, unanimous decision. They helped her out of the ring. She had a full ACL tear. Yes, like complete. Her knee was turning black in the ring. It was big, big as her thigh. Oh yeah, before she left the ring, it was lump lump. <laughs> she's a she's a fucking trooper. <laughs> First, she was lump lump. She really is going to be the future of that division. Um, oh it's yeah, just, it, it's not going to happen. Well, I was wanting to see her win, so she'd call out Paige. Paige oh, is she's waiting for. Oh it, yeah, too. Paige is like, oh, I'm sitting hell. Yeah, <laughs> my knee's just fine. Right. So they're saying nine months. She's going to be out. Oh, it's going to be at least six months or a year. Yeah, she won't fight till maybe the the end of this year, maybe next year. Mm-hmm. That sucks. On shelf. Oh fuck. She better, start doing some, she better start doing some Instagram videos like Paige, get that money. <laughs> that. No cute ass. Yeah, boob job. Um, what else we got here? Oh, yeah. Showtime got tapped out. He did by um Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. Ferreira or whatever. He is. got him a win bonus too. This dude was squeezing the shit out of Showtime so hard. He's got him in a rear naked choke. Him in a, it was like a neck crank. But but he had a body body triangle on him. Oh yeah. He was squeezing so fucking hard when he when Showtime tapped out. Old boy jumped up and was catching a cramp. He's like, oh, oh, oh my leg. Oh, my leg. My leg don't want to work. My leg. He had squeezed on him so tough, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, what's up? Just getting notifications about the stream. We're good. Okay. Yeah. As long as someone wants to go, hey, man, it's like shit. At first, they couldn't hear, but they said, never mind. Uh, oh. <laughs> never mind. Didn't turn my volume up. Whoopsie. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, Showtime's on a bit of a slump, right? Yeah. Did he win his last? Damn, I have to look. I thought he, I thought he lost to. Um, I think he did. He got beat. He got beat by Ferguson a while back, right? Mm-hmm. And then he won one, I think. Yeah, because Ferguson beat Cowboy after that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he lost though. I think it's, he's on a two, maybe a three fight slump. Slump now. Uh, whatever. It ain't a big deal. He he's gonna be a yeah, stepping stone soon. Yeah, you had your time. Uh, what about Mo Green's toughness? Who, he he, fight, he um, fought the fucking Alexi. Yeah. Olenek. This dude had. He got sub of the night over that. Did he? I want to say he did. What? Was it sub of the night or? He got a performance bonus. He got he got Mo Green and some kind of choke. You can probably Google it. Joe's like. There's, there's a scarf. Joe's like. Joe Rogan's like. He's not getting out of it. This right. is the end of him. Yeah, that's it. Yo, he'll be tapping soon. Okay. He got choked for about a fucking minute, minute and a half. <laughs> Dude didn't tap. No, the bell saved him, and bell saved him. Got out. He got. He was pissed. Yeah. Now, have you ever seen uh, Mo Green? He looks like old walleye fish. He got one eye looking this way, one right. eye looking that way. He got a gap between his damn um, teeth that I could run through. Right. Madonna right. would be proud. But I mean, get locked yeah. up in oh, a kiss, yeah. Dog. oh yeah. But dude, he it's came tough. from the Ultimate Fighter. Dude's fucking tough as nails. Yeah. The nit- I mean, he was. He, that dude had him fucking. <laughs> he had his ass tied up, son. Yeah. Like he was hanging his ass so bad he could have called a fucking uh, a charge. He I hate up, crime. Oh my god, it was close. I mean, it was it was tight, and he didn't. So then, the bell said he went back out there. Or we'll try. He he wanted to strike him because you know Mo mm-hmm. can strike. Oh yeah. Oh, fucking sixty fight. Fucking Russians said not not today. Not today. Going to take you to the ground and choke you. That's it. He ended up with a knee bar, right? Got him with. Or, was it an arm? No, no, no. It was an arm. Was it his arm that yeah, got yeah, trapped? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. End up getting him with a uh, arm bar. Yep. 
It was tight too. Oh. And he looked like he was going to get out of it again. Yeah, because he was rolling. And then no, nah, no, nah, he put him. He put him little four fingers and tap. Oh, he was like, mm, 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 like, no, mm, I don't want to. I don't want to do this mm, no more. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, let's me go get my beer. So that was the the dude's seventy second fight. Alexi. Jesus, all in it. Yeah, fifty eighth win. I think is what it was. God almighty, like, what? Take some time off, bro. Dude, let somebody else win. Jesus. <sighs> so yeah, it was a good card. I thought. Yeah, decent. Typical Connor. Word bond. Yeah, after the fact, tells whoever they can get it. Yeah. Hugs Cowboy's grandma. Right. He's <laughs> like, bet. It's a good like, life. Like, this dude just got fucking 80 million. He's just hugging everybody. What do you think? What do you think about that, Connor? That promoting Connor where he's like respectful and, well, versus like the old school. Scary, bro. Yeah. It's it, nuts. It, it's, it's scary. Because what do you, you have a uh, hundred plus million dollars, right? Uh, what does that say that you can focus like that? He's not fighting for money now. No. Mm-mm. He's got his money. Did you hear his press conference after? A little bit. I watched about 15 minutes. Yeah. Of it. I'm like, dude, this is a totally different cat. He was like, he said it all. Like, I was fucking off my last camp against Khabib. I was drinking all the time. Oh, yeah. He wasn't focused. He was just doing whatever. He would just show up to the gym late. Randomly. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, I, I, you know, my team deserves better. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Look out. Look out yeah. 170, look out 155. Oh, yeah, he's coming. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what he does with Jorge. I don't know if that's a good matchup. No. It's tough to call. Yeah. I don't I don't want to call it. <laughs> I want to see it. Yo, I want to watch. I want to watch it. He looks good at 170. Yeah. He look, he's, He even said, he's like, you know, he's, he's talking about um, the champion, um, Usman. Yeah. He's like. He's like he's not a very big guy. He's like he's like maybe five eight, right? You know? he's thick, but he's not. He's not. You know, he's not big. You but know? I think he cuts too, though. I think Usman cuts down. But see, I think I think if you cut down to make a weight, you're kind of at a disadvantage, right? But I mean, they they cut a lot of water weight. They bulk back up. Yeah, Usman could walk in at one eighty. Yeah, fight night. You know what I mean? Boy, Connor just doesn't cut weight. That still takes a toll on your body, though. It does for sure. When you and your fucking ass want to eat a goddamn Junior Whopper with cheese. But, I mean, if you if your nutrition's right, mm. maybe you're okay. He's proved that he can do it, you know? I don't think he's ever had an issue with weight. Yeah. Uh, he's His gas tank's second to none. Oh, yeah. Who smells fast? Like what he did to Tyrone. My ass would fall asleep with that. <laughs> he just lays on you. Yeah. You know, his wrestling is up there. He in a fucking wet blanket like damn could be, though. No. But then what happens if you get stuck in your face, you know? Yeah. But like that, Colby, he's got that output. And what happened? Usman's just broke his jaw. Broke his jaw. So <laughs> he hits like a truck. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So we'll see. But I, I got my notes here. But Dana did say what I thought was interesting is that um, Connor Khabib is the fight to make. But Khabib's got to fight Tony. Yes. What are we talking about here? Because yeah, Tony that's the is ne- the that's one. That's the next fight. Tony's deserving of that championship. Even fight. Connor said that. Yeah. He's let them he sort said, that he's out. Let them fight. He's, I'll fight whoever. Right. He's like, I'm. He wants the one with Khabib back. Oh, Obviously, yeah. Dana yeah. knows he could sell that. That's the top <sighs> grossing oh, that'll be a fight. Big... That's the top. The highest pay per view buys ever was that fight. Really? Yeah. In UFC history. Was so that there's fight. money to be made so there. You know, Dana sees that and he's like, that's the fight to make, Extreme. obviously. Like, but, how much fucking money do you need, Dana? Right. Well, no matter what, as long as Connor's fighting, he's going to make that money. It doesn't matter who he's fighting. Right. I don't think. Mm. You know? So we'll see. I'm excited to see Tony win. Because I think Tony beats Tony all day. I think Tony's gonna whoop his ass. I think Tony's a problem for Connor. I think Tony's a fucking problem for anybody <laughs> on really this is. planet. He really is a problem for everyone. If he can stay healthy, take his fucking sunglasses off when you're inside. I think <laughs> I'd like to see Tony versus John Jones. <laughs> I mean, what? A, I mean, that's a, yeah. Just, you don't see people fight the way he fights, like dude. He's fucking relentless. What's his What's his name? And uh, fuck, I can't think of it. Is his like nickname? It's I have no fucking clue. El Kakui. That's what it is. El Kakui. That's funny. Like, okay. Well, Ooh. I don't know what that is, but it sounds yeah, cool. Yeah, sounds cool. My next thing on my notes is the um, Super Bowl matchup. Bro, I called it. 49ers versus the Chiefs. Mm, your boy called it. Yeah. A long time ago. I called 49ers. That's the only thing I was right about. <laughs> I called 49ers Titans. <laughs> right. Right. And then Titans started up, dude. Started 17 out, to 7. Started out strong. And then the Jen Red Luck just came, <laughs> come flowing out. He was like, I don't know what happened. I know what happened. They adjusted. Yeah, it's called the Derrick Henry had 69 yards. 
That's it. Derek Henry got shut the fuck down. He got shut down. And that's what happens. I wish I would have seen the game just so I could see what happened. Mm-hmm. They had him been loading the box up. I, I couldn't understand it because it seemed to me like when I checked, we were – we were doing something. We were at that car meet. We were at the car meet. So I couldn't watch the game, but I checked this. I was checking the score and see the stats every now and again. And yeah. in the first half, I want to say he had like 60 or 50-something yards. So he didn't get much after that. I thought he got injured. It was so crazy. Yeah, we were at dinner yeah. when you was looking at it. Like he had to have gotten you're taken like, out. You're like, bro, he didn't get hurt. They, they just shut him down. Yeah, they just shut him down as far as I could see. And I don't know how you hold him to only a few yards in the second half. Right. That's impressive. Yeah. They must have been stacking the box. That's that's. Or Tennessee changed their plan and tried to go aerial, but they don't have nobody to throw to. I think somebody said did say that because they were shutting Derrick Henry down. They just tried throwing the ball. They just said, uh, fuck it. Who you got, Mariota? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm like, you tear it, Tannehill. Okay, fuck him too. Well, I mean, they're a different team in the second half of the season. Tennessee really is. I mean, they went on the road and beat New England. They went on the road and beat Baltimore. They were giving Kansas City the business. But and then it just fell and apart. Just, and Kansas City just went the on switch. <laughs> They were like, oh, this is oh, a game. Oh, this is a game. <laughs> oh, we have to play. Right. They, they go down. Time to fuck your shit up. They go down 24 to Houston and come back. Yep. They go down 17 or down 10. Yep. Come back. I mean, good luck, dude. What I think, I yeah. think it's going to be a fucking shootout, dude, in the Super Bowl. Dude, I'm telling you right now, you know who's going to be the fucking the game breaker? Who? Is that fucking running back for the 49ers? Oh, what's his name? He went undrafted, right? He you got traded by six different fucking teams. And then he lands there. And that dude, he hits the ball. He hits the fucking hole so fucking fast. Like, if you tackle this motherfucker, you're going to hurt. Right. It's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh, fuck, here it comes. Yeah, he's he's I do st- stout. I can't say his name. He's got, like, some weird vowel consonant combinations. Yeah. But um, I heard he went undrafted or some shit like that. Yeah. He's got something to prove. Oh, yeah. They got to – make, both him, make, make him hurt. I, I see Mahomes being the, the game changer. Well, I just see him being the difference, really. Oh, yeah, because he's the – He's more mobile. He can run. I don't know what Garoppolo can do. Mm. Like, I, haven't been, I haven't watched many 49er games. But yeah, I'm not a West Coast guy. Scores are up, so yeah, it should more. be a shootout. They're playing in Miami. Oh, yeah. Like my boy Tomas would say, yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> God, I love listening to that kid watching football game. His eyes will light up. So like, yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> it's like he was half asleep when we first got to the restaurant that yeah. night. And then it just came alive. Oh, yeah. He woke up. Somebody flipped the switch. Trey don't ever stop. Oh, yeah. Chatterbox. Oh, yeah. You get his attention, boy. Right. They're so animated. They are. They're funny. I love them. Yeah. So animated. Good kids. We're talking about Jay Quellen's boys. Trey and Tomas. Oh, yeah. Characters. Love. Oh yes, good times. What the fuck was uh? What's Jay Quellen's uh name growing up? Bing <laughs> Junebug. Junebug. <laughs> Junie. Oh Junie. <laughs> Junebug. Fucked up. Told us that one. Oh yeah, you fucked up. Yeah. Now, now the world knows. Yeah, the world knows. If you see your boy Junie, let him know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said he had to catch somebody's ass. Like, hey, no, not at work. Not at work. Right. Professional. Yeah, Jay Quillen, this motherfucker. <laughs> outside, you fucking outside this box, and then you right. call me Junie. Right, right. June, June. June bug. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> There's certain shit when you say it around certain people, you're like, damn. <laughs> like, right when we talk about his trunk set up? <laughs> I said too much. You fucking set me up, you bastard. <laughs> I've said too much. You just can't take it back. Nope. You see the words come out, and you're like, oh, well, now it's out in the atmosphere. So when we That's talk sad. about when we talk about June bugs uh, trunks that up. <laughs> <laughs> For trunk, those that don't know, like trunks set up in the car, like a it is Honda Accord. Yep, it's like we're talking about like stereo air, like air ride the, setups. The air ride setup. Yeah, that's what we refer to as trunk setups. His subwoofers. Is. He's got like he huh. he did he built it the way he wanted it. Like it's built the way he wants it, but like I think they should have did a, a smaller what? subwoofer box. Mm-hmm. You had to bring it in, you know, in some and give you more trunk area to work with. Sure. Yeah, because he wanted more shit to put his fucking shit back there. Right. Nah. He said, nah, I got this flea market up. <laughs> <laughs> Subwoofer box. We're going to run with it. Indestructible, dog. He's like, yeah, this motherfucker made out of fucking one inch MDF yeah, board. It's, a, it's an eight cubic foot box. <laughs> For 112. For 112. <laughs> You're stupid. 
<laughs> so, but it's all decorated with like this overlapping like wood, right? And metal trim. It looks really good. Malahini Customs did the trunk set up, right? I think it was saying it was like an industrial type look. Like he was going for the industrial for type look slash pallet project slash, slash Pinterest. <laughs> so we go. That shit is Pinteresting, bro. It's very Pinteresting. Pinteresting. I mean, if you if you ever get a chance to check it out, look at it. Yeah. But we all went to a car meet in Brunswick, Georgia. Yeehaw. That was a fun-ass ride. The, the, the ride was dope. The ride was hell of that. Yeah, it was a good time. Car meet? <sighs> there was a few things to look at, for yes. sure. Yes, The three we were. No, the the yeah, <laughs> Two and a half that we were. No, um, we pulled in the parking lot, and this kid... Like, we're parking our shit, and yeah. this kid, like, pops the cap to his radiator while... <laughs> yeah. It's this, hot. This is how smart he's not. Okay, when we get there, the crowd's really, really young. Oh, yeah. Really young. Right. A lot of rep wheels, a lot of yeet yeet trucks, mm-hmm. a lot right. of fucking hammered ass shit. A lot of held together with zip ties. Oh, yeah. So, they're trying to build up their car scene there, apparently. Sure. So, we... I applaud that. Okay, I give them that. We get there... I ain't gonna lie. We the freshest shit there. I mean, that's usually. I mean, quality. I mean, our the our quality was like when we pulled in. We had instantly had people fucking around our shit. Yeah, I mean, this is different. There's levels to this shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, we're level ten. They're level one. You gotta start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But that's what we're rolling up up into. The bottom now, we right. So (laughs) this kid, I guess he doesn't know that hot radiator. This motherfucker pulls in the parking lot. This bitch is running. Yeah. So you don't know where the fuck he drove from. Sure. Pops the hood. Green volcano. <laughs> like and it takes the radiator cap off. You fucking hit it. Like I don't know if he was checking wanted to check his fluid. Yeah. What? Because it might have been smoking. I don't know if it was overheating or what. Yeah. But yeah. Too much eat eat. Too much. Something. All of a sudden he's burning everybody around him. Yeah. Like, like scalding yeah. hot water. Everybody's getting fucking lit up. I'm just like, oh it's gonna be one of them meats. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like So it was cold as shit. It got chilly. Yeah. Thank God the handler was not far behind with my fucking hoodie. You're a t-shirt and shorts. Uh, I was in t-shirt and shorts. Hard nips. No dick. <laughs> Just walk around, checking shit out. <laughs> Let's go inside. So, um, the cleanest, the, the the coolest shit at this meet was that damn Dodge truck to me. Well, that Ram? Yeah. Yeah, dude. It was an 84 you called Dodge it, Ram. It had... Um, 360 board 60 over, I think. Motherfucker, that bitch was chopping when he came into the fucking parking lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he had like newer SRT 10 uh, Viper wheels on it. Looked good, black. Oh, yeah. New grill, had RT badge in it. Mm-hmm. He had an RT hood on it. Interior the was interior fucking brand was new. Fucking sick. It was so dope. So Leather. dope. Oh, yeah. And he was just like a good old fucking boy. happy, good. Yeah. That's, he was happy as hell just to talk to people. It was his daddy's truck. Yep. You know what I mean? So it had sentimental. It had been wrecked. Been wrecked. He'd fucking saved it. Yeah. Clean. Oh, yeah. Fucking super clean. Oh, yeah. I wish I took more photos of that bitch. Yeah, but I, it got I dark. Didn't, yeah, it got dark quick. I mean, who they fucking have a meet at five? Like, have a meet at five with no fucking lights in the parking lot. <laughs> Not a single light. Not even a light in my fucking car work. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, on the way. So we, we were there for at least an hour or two. A couple hours, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging out, shooting shit. And then. Stunting. It's like, yo, yeah. Then it's time. This time, then it's time to leave. And then we're trying to find somewhere to eat. So uh, we'll just go to Kingsland, get something to eat, and then you know, we'll part ways from there. I get in this goddamn Volkswagen. I hit the fucking light switch. I'm like I said, nah, What's dog. <laughs> Not today. The flicker off. Flicker off. Flicker off. <laughs> flicker off. I'm like, you fuck you, motherfucker. So had to borrow a screwdriver from one of Yee boys. Right. I got a screwdriver, you can borrow. <laughs> right, right. It's holding this fucking door on. Yeah, hang on a <laughs> second. Right. So I get a screwdriver, start taking my bezel out. You get your fingers behind you pop the thing out. Right, a little switch. Yeah, you take the switch out. I fucking blow in it like it's a fucking Nintendo 64 cartridge. <laughs> He's trying to make it Ooh. work. Like, please go. Please go. But once you got it in. It should work. Turn it on. It flickered one time. I was like. Fuck it, let's send it. Th- in the meantime, the handler done hauled ass. She left. Oh yeah, yeah. you were like, I need to follow somebody. I was like, to I restaurant. To, yeah, I need to follow somebody to a restaurant just in case. Right. She was, She peeled tires and left. Oh, she did, bro. <laughs> she had that fucking Sorrento screaming. She had it sideways. Oh yeah. Oh. So, but she was like, uh, just to let you know, when she texts me, because you had your family with you, you yes. had Lindsay and um, Kendra. Well, uh, when Lindsay texts me, I pulled over. 
Oh. Mm-hmm. Pulled over where? The restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> I pulled over on that fucking Kingsland exit. Dude. But. They yeah, stayed on. The headlights I, stayed on the whole time. Yeah. Even mm-hmm. when you took us off road. I mean, listen, I like to make my own way in this world. Clearly. <laughs> Dog. So Amanda sends me a message. <laughs> she goes, exit three, the Sonnies. Yes. I'm like, all right. So I send the message to our group chat. Right. Exit three, Sonnies. You decide, nah, dog, we're going to get off at exit <laughs> six. Right. And not, you know, get off the off ramp. You decide we're going to ride the fucking shoulder. I'm like, this motherfucker's going to test my light switch because if I hit these rumble strips, <laughs> it's probably going to vibrate my fucking lights. I was cut trying off. to wake everybody up. Well, I was awake, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, it looked like another lane. It's a the solid shit, white line. But the shit opened up. There was another line on the other side. <sighs> you don't cross a solid white I line. I do. Well, you're an idiot. Well, okay. I'll be that. Okay. I fucking try to follow this motherfucker. It's like, whoa, 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 shit. Suspension's all good. Yeah. Light, light it. switch good. Yeah. So then we get up to exit six. That's not the right one. There is nothing on exit nothing. six. Bro, it's nothing. fucking dark. Yeah, it was Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. So this motherfucker said, we look both ways. We all of us just hauled ass across the highway. Go, across got right the media. Go right, got right back on 95. Well, I, it says Kingsland on the exit. Next yeah. two exits. Yeah. And back when we were making plans, the dude said exit six. Josh, OMG VR6. That's what he said. And then someone tells me that he said, he corrected himself and said exit three. I didn't yes. hear that part. Yeah. And I didn't see your message clearly. So, clearly. You know, but we got there. Yeah. I figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we got there. I mean, get better headlights and you don't have to follow oh, me. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> like, I'm, well, as soon as this fucking podcast is over, I'm out there fucking, I'm be fixing it. All right. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. All right. I thought you already fixed it. Oh, well, I, I mean, I pulled out the plug, blew it off, cleaned it up, know, got his name, contacts. got his phone number. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, clean the contacts, put it back in. I just still got to get a new one, though, because the little metal tab that holds the bitch in broke off. Oh, good. So it's like doing this number, rocking oh, it out. All kinds of fucked up. Hey, I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't be winning this weekend at the car show. Not because of that. Oh, no. No. You got a shot? Huh? Everybody got a shot. No. Nah. Come on. Trash. Whatever. Don't. Oh, so if you're in the Orlando area on the 25th, come check us out. Yeah, we'll talk about more of that on Friday. Really? Yep. Okay, fuck it. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, we may or may not. We'll let you know Friday. Oh, I already paid. Well, fuck, I'm going. Oh, for real? I'm just saying. We, we can talk more about that on the I podcast on Friday. Bitch, you paid. That's so? all? Nah, kidding. I'm like, going. J. Quell and J. O. Junebug be mad. Oh, he would be super mad. <laughs> I was like, the fucking fireworks wait on y'all, man. None of y'all showed up. He's mad at me all the time. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> you see me taking shots at his ass today? Tell me, let me borrow the fucking wood out of that damn trunk. <laughs> I'll build a stage. <laughs> oh, uh, good shit. I mean, listen, I'm running a tax special on uh, <laughs> trunk setups. I got all the pallet wood you need, bro. Yeah. Come and get it. <laughs> You're like, what's what's the what's the damage? What I owe you? <laughs> I was like, damn, sir. I'm glad you don't talk to me like that. I'd be mad. Oh, sure, I do. Oh, you want to talk about Aaron Rodgers' lack of player? Does that fuck it? I mean, I I didn't see a whole lot. I mean, we watched some of it at the restaurant. We didn't see a whole lot of nothing from Aaron Rodgers. Did they score? They scored one. What did they score? Something. They tried to make a run, right? Uh, no, I think they tried to just get points on the board so they didn't get a fucking uh, dozen. Yeah, blown out, yeah. I mean, but he doesn't really have any. Who's he got? I mean, I'm surprised he made it as far as he did. But who in the NFC is really fucking competitive besides the Niners? Hey. Right? What are you looking at? Ooh, fucking Cowboys, Eagles, uh, Redskins, Buffalo. Uh, that, that's, what Buffalo. that's what I'm looking at. Oh, yeah. Holy oh, home. God almighty, son. Holy home. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't talk about everything. Oh, except for the, um, well, we had six shootings this past weekend. I, bet you, I posted this shit on Facebook not too long, a week ago. I'm like, could y'all, can we stop shooting each other over dumb shit? Like Jacksonville, what the fuck were you can doing? Can you calm the fuck down? I mean, Jesus Christ. What were day? This is day 20, right? January 20th. Yep. There were six shootings this last weekend. We're coming today's, up on Martin today's, Luther today's King 20, Day. Today's 21st, bro. Today's 21st? Yeah. Well, all right, whatever. This is too much. Three weeks in, and we got all these fucking shootings of the yeah. year. First of the year. What are you talking? Y'all trying to be Detroit? Right. We were trying to be Flint. We're trying to be fucking Chicago. Did you see? Did you watch the um, documentary on Netflix called Flint Town? Have you no. seen it? No. That's good. Was, oh, yeah. It's fucked up. It's all, it was like. From the water crisis, yeah, to the crime, like a new police chief, new mayor, like all the shit that happened, mm-hmm. it kind of goes in line with when um, the election was happening with Trump and all that, yeah, yeah. And it just tells the story. It's fucked up. 
what's going on, what happened there, what's still happening there. Yeah, they still don't get no help. It's just the crime is through the roof. Houses are abandoned left and it's just it's because there's no economy there. Or... It's poverty, it's money, the water situation. They're fucking local government shit on them. You know what I mean? Damn, it's it's just fucking crazy. They've got like a hundred and something um, people in the police force, like in total. Yeah, and there's still like thousands of people who live in that city. You can't police that many people with that little bit of resource. Hell no. Yeah, it's it's wild. But so then you see elements of that happening around the world. You see it here in Jacksonville. I'm like, well, what the fuck? Right. What's what's it gonna take? You know, let's stop shooting people. Just, just fight. Just fist fight. Or just well, like. It, it, but now, if you get in a fist fight and you fucking lose and you get embarrassed in front of everybody, that fucker usually goes gets a gun and fucking right, comes, comes back. back yeah. yeah. Oh, you beat me. Well, you just take that L and go yeah. on about your life. Yeah, well, I took an L. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll come back another day. If we get in a fist fight and I lose, we're fighting again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fight. fight you every day until I win. Then, a, then I'm going to walk away. It'd be, a long, it'd be some long days. <laughs> yeah. Every chance I, I get, know. I'm going to punch I in try, the face. I just try not to fight about shit, mm. too, for the most part. You know what I mean? Now that you're getting older, man, you start thinking, like, man, I got a fucking quarter million dollar house. I got four cars. I got a fucking successful podcast. Do I really need to punch this fucker in the face? Yeah, it's like, well, I try to stay away from places where I find people that need to be punched in the face. You right. Too, you know what I mean? You right. I don't I don't go to those places. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to fucking hurt my ass. I just don't know, man. I don't know what the answer is. You see Boundless is doing another car meet? Who? Boundless? Mm-hmm. Boundless, yeah. yeah. You know that Baker? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm going through. Let that one motherfucking get show up. Oh, the one from the last meet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was just situational. I don't think he's gonna come into the next one. Oh, I'm talking about the one that fucking talks shit on yeah. the fucking line. For sure. Oh, let him show up. You think? I'm going to put him in a trash can. No, I mean, I probably won't, though. He probably won't. Well, we can hope. <laughs> right. I'm hoping. Yeah, I think everybody's on the lookout for that kid. Oh, yeah. One, I'm so, I even told Dustin. I told somebody. I was like, bro, it's one thing if you talk shit about people you don't fucking break bread with or people that live in a fucking different city or different state. Mm-hmm. Well, you're sitting here talking about shit, and you specifically said Cram de la Cram. Oh, you that spe- kid. You specifically said Boundless. You... Sp- you know, and you're fucking you hung called up. out these clubs. Yeah, called call out, yo. I'm going to fuck. I told him, I'm going to grab him by his fucking hair. I'm not going to hit him. Allegedly. I'm going to snatch his ass to the ground, put my fucking knee in his chest. I'm like, look. I don't think you can say these things. I'm- well, well, I'm am. <laughs> okay. You know, premeditated. <laughs> Whoa, dude. I was going to put my fucking knee Prank in his caller. chest. And I'm like, look, I can fuck you up anytime I want. Keep my name. I want keep my sex with you. And keep my car club name out of your mouth. Right. Or I'm a butt rape you. Whoa! Right here in front of everybody. That sounds Sexy. illegal. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> this no, he's is not all he, parody. He's going to yes, right. he's, he's going to have a really, really bad day. I'm he's going to leave like, that car me like I'm totally not having a good time. Here's the thing, no, for sure. Here's the <laughs> thing. If you are going to say that type of shit, be prepared for what happens next. Yeah, prepared to get chin checked. You can't say all these things and then be around those same people. There's the safety of the internet is if you don't have to see these people in real life. Yeah, you're going to see me in real life. Right. Well, that's the problem. You yeah. know what I mean? So now you have to answer for that. He pissed a lot of people off at Boundless. I bet. Because he hung out with a lot of those people. Yeah, when you're around these people and you, oh, then you shit on them indirectly and then directly. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, well, what do you want? Do you want to be a part of this scene? Because this is a good way to get punched he, in the face. Because then he kept fucking talking shit about, well, y'all aren't... Um, you don't have, you know, your car club ain't international or not, you know. Name what the fucking is besides menace. Like, I'm like, that's not what we fucking were about anyway. We don't have international, I don't have international friends. <laughs> yeah. Or like, you don't I, have other, other part of club anywhere else in the United States. Yeah, no, for okay, sure. What do you fucking do? Right. Well, I don't want to. Yeah. I mean, you can go be part of these clubs like Camber Gang. Mm-hmm. There's fucking Camber Gang everywhere. Okay. You bought a fucking sticker yeah, and stuck it. Envy is. Okay. Do y'all fucking wild, hang out? Do y'all hang out on the weekend? Right. Do y'all get USC fights? Do y'all go to dinner? <laughs> right. No. 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 We do. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> right. There's we're a real family that like just happened to also be in a car club together. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why our fucking thing is quality over fucking quantity. Yeah. Quantity. You don't have to be a we bunch don't of want, people. We don't want a bunch of fuck. But if you're going to be in our car club, you're going to have to be the fucking best of the best. That's some raw shit. I don't know how I'm in a club, but. Oh, you mean the beetle you got? Huh, supposedly. Right. That gas tank, though. Hey, Boy, looks good. Stay solid, bitch. Uh, 
Johnny did a good job on that. For sure. I might have him do the fucking size of the Beetle. Really? I like his lines. They're clean. His lines are fucking dope. Yeah. He's definitely good. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have all different types of artists, you know, involved in your shit. Everybody get a tag. Get in there. I'll do a piece. Good. <laughs> little scribble. I'll put him underneath the car. Whoa. Hey. Flip do, it over. Do the bottom of my fucking hand. I'll sign it. <laughs> I'll do your exhaust. There you go. Burn right off. That motherfucker, dude. I've had so many exhausts on that car. Oh, yeah. Because you throw them in the fucking ditch on the side of the road when you don't like them no more. <laughs> Uh, what Nothing show? screams I'm rich and then somebody kicking a fucking exhaust off and I'll stomp it. that bastard yeah. just throw it in the ditch what show was that we were going somewhere in Daytona it was um, I had the ruckus where were we going I don't remember dude no fucking clue <laughs> where you would have had the beetle and I would have had the ruckus don't know all of all of those, somebody was, somebody came up and was like, hey man, you're fucking exhausted. You're shooting sparks everywhere. <laughs> so I'm just thinking it was the fucking flange. I was like, every time I dipped, nah, the uh, fucking piece came loose and that fucking stinger fucking went from being up yeah. to me dragging that bitch like a tail. Oh, yeah. So half of the bitch was fucking smooth flat. <laughs> <laughs> Being down. It. So when we pulled over the gas, I just stomped that bastard off. I was like, oh, there he is. Who needs it? Threw that motherfucker. Wow. Somebody found it. Yeah. Made probably. a bong out of it, probably. Oh, yeah. Check out this Made one here. Look what I found. <laughs> All right. It smells German. <laughs> it's weird. I can't wait to get that bitch back. The rest of us can't wait either. I know, right? Everybody's like, man, I'm low key waiting to see this. <laughs> Everybody. They hit me like, up. They go, but seriously, when's it going to be ready? I'm like, I dare you to ask him. Because <laughs> like, <laughs> I've asked him enough, and I, you know, yeah. I can see the look on his face. <laughs> like, I'm not asking him no more. Nah, no. Nah. So, I'll just be surprised with the rest of y'all. Yep. Fuck it. You'll know when I know. That's it. Yeah. Oh, you'll you'll know because that motherfucker, I'm going to do a dope ass fucking photo. Oh, you have to. Shoot that bitch. Like, oh, here it is. Rollers, videos. Oh, yeah. All that shit. I'm going to pay uh, Matt Ford to come up from Tampa to fucking do a video of it. Hell, yeah. We'll blow his shit up. Oh, yeah. We need to get him up here to do all our cars anyway. Our group that thing. video Miles did of Josh's um, City 2 was dope. I don't know who Miles is. Miles, the dude, he he did Grayson's video. Don't know. Didn't mind it. <laughs> Motherfucker. I swear to God, dude. For real? Yeah. He's good. He's got like super long ass hair. Is he local? Yes. Miles what, Jack? Miles Dante. Uh, Miles Jack. Dante? Yeah. No, you, you probably know him. Probably. Anyway, he does killer work. Hmm. Yeah, he did that whole like Mentos video. Did you watch it? No. Who are you? <laughs> Fuck. I'll share, I'll share it with you. Okay. It's really cool. Okay. Like Josh starts off with like getting a text like, oh, hey, are we still on for eight o'clock dinner? Duh. And then he looks at his watch and it's like 745. <laughs> and so he's like, oh shit. And he hops in the. So he made like a little movie out of yeah, it. Yeah. He hops in the turbo, takes off, hauls mm. ass, gets caught up in like That's kind of construction. So then he pulls out the fucking. So then he pulls out the bike and fucking does a donut around the construction guy and then takes off. That's dope. To meet his wife for dinner. It was fresh. Hmm. He does like the little Mentos thumbs up <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's rad, dude. Music is all eighties to go with the car. Oh fuck yeah, it's fire. Do, uh, we'll we're watch not, that we're not doing we're not doing sixties music to my car. Why? <laughs> <laughs> do you like Miss American Pie or whatever yeah. that shit's called? <laughs> man, man, <laughs> man. Or whatever came out whenever your yeah. car was sixty six. Fuck, dude. Sold in sixty five. Sixty. Hmm. R. I. P. To that car. Yep. Like to see what it becomes. Yeah, boy. Showstopper. So what else we got? Bro, I don't know. What you got going this week? <laughs> we'll talk about that Friday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this week's just work, man, catching up. I got there's so much shit I need to do for fucking the weekend. I want to take out that alternator and paint it black. I want to take off the bracket. I see an alternator. Take a want to paint, paint, it black. paint that bitch black. I want to put the wire loom on the races. dam. I want no. your power wire. I'm a power wire. Pa. Power. Put some flex. Put some uh, nice nice loom on there. Some of that. Uh, you got some? Yes, I do. Let me get some. All right. About eight feet up. Put some heat shrink on it. Make it look official. I see. You're way too fancy for no, me, bro. bro. CDLC, motherfucker. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's get with it. Okay, yeah, we'll do. come over tomorrow. We'll do it. Oh, I can't come over tomorrow. Oh, see, maybe I can go over Friday. Okay. <laughs> Did you see the um? Nope. Space Force. You know the Space Force. <laughs> yes, it's, it's real. real thing. It's real. Yeah. Do you know that they leaked the uniform? 
Uh, you know, I got denied. For the Space Force? Yes. Is it buoyancy or what is it? I don't know. I was like, bro, <laughs> I, I don't weigh shit in fucking space. <laughs> Guess what their uniform looks like. Guess what color it is. Green. And? Green. And? Brown? Yeah. And? Black. It's fucking camouflage. Okay. Uh-huh. It needs to be black with like little white dots all over it. It's like, yeah. everybody's like, why is it camouflage? There's no trees in space. Like, what right. the fuck are you doing? <laughs> but I guess their their whole thing is they work, it's a joint forces with the Air Force and the Army, and that's what they wear, so they hmm. save the money. So they have to make so remake to new make. fucking space. But I really feel like they're missing the boat on the galaxy print <laughs> fucking <laughs> uniforms, dude. Like, That'd be so far, bro. Wouldn't it be dope as like, shit? Bro, I got a fucking nebula on my chest. <laughs> For sure, dude. Like different ranks would have different constellations. Fuck yeah! <laughs> All right, what's up, little Dipper? What's up, little Ryan? <laughs> yes, oh yeah, sir. I'm, I'm the big Dipper. Right, I'm the big Dipper. Get your ass in line. Yeah. Fucking Space Force, dude. Put me in. I tried. That's some raw shit. Oh yeah. With the Space Force. What do you drive? Space you? Right. <laughs> Stole it from the space alien. tank. Fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> do 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 do. Pew pew. Yeah, laser guns. I mean, pew, pew. I mean, look, it's not far off. Word. You know, getting there. Can't be. SpaceX is just launching random shit. We don't know what the fuck he's putting in space, bro. Bro. He just lets them know. They I'm just, about to launch some shit. Watch this. How do you get clearance for that? I'm about to launch some shit. Watch <laughs> this. <laughs> like you just go to NASA. Hey, man. I'm going to need this pad for a second. Yeah. Uh, my name's Elon. <laughs> oh, say no, say no more, fam. fam. Yeah. Do whatever the fuck. Is that car still want? up there floating? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Let me go ahead and get one now. I don't know the specifics of it, but I guess they launched some shit and it has the ability to detach itself from the main part of the shuttle if something happens mm-hmm. and like bring itself back down to Earth. Have you seen one of these fucking things park themselves? Mm-hmm. They come back in orbit? Yeah. And just like. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who can't I'm like, see, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. You know, it fucking slowly comes down. Just does what it's supposed to and shit. Lands on the fucking platform. My dad is some weird shit. I mean, there's nobody better I'd rather have on it. We got this motherfucker putting shit in space like every other day, it seems. And we got fucking Iran being some fucking assholes over some dumb shit. You know, like, they they show, they shot down that fucking Ukrainian passenger plane. And had like fucking nothing happened. <laughs> it was like so, total accident. So sorry. Sorry, my bad. But Oops. like, I, the whole thing is, the Iggy is like, they did their little fake attacks or whatever against the U.S. bases or whatever. Yeah. We, they had warning ahead of time that it was happening. Mm-hmm. There were no casualties on our side. Nope. They made, that shit was inflated. They made up that shit. They said that they told their Who, the media leaders, did? No, no, the Iranian, the Iranian, oh, okay, okay. Iranian people told their people, they're like, oh, yeah, we there was 80, you know, casualties, American casualties. It was like a, they just, to save face. Oh, to their people. To their people. It's like, to we, make, we retaliated for this shit. Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? But, yeah, no. This shit's over. That's why this shit is squashed so fast. Fucking media, bro. Mm-hmm. And you see how they had that fucking big-ass rally in Virginia? Oh, the gun rally? Gun rights rally? Bro. Everybody, everybody was strapped. Was, everybody was strapped up. Nobody got shot. Nobody got shot. No fucking arguments. They even cleaned up the trash after the fucking thing that. went home. I heard that. Huh? The fuck? <laughs> right. No, yeah, I mean, no it's fucking, That's pretty dope. Yeah. I mean, you got some fucking wannabe Call of Duty motherfuckers out there. You're like, oh, I don't know about old Jim Bob over here. But, but it was man. everybody from every color creed. Oh, yeah. Out there just fucking rapping. Re- it didn't matter. And they were they were all strapped and they were all like, you know what? We're keeping our rights. And they were all saying, you know what? Fucking gun rights or women's rights. You know, gun rights or um, uh, like comparing it to all these other things. Sure. Like you take one away, you're taking all of them away. Yeah, this is literally our right to protect. Our government's trying to take away our right to protect ourselves from our government. Right. No. Fuck Eat shit, you. bro. Fuck you, Hitler. Right? We <laughs> shot motherfuckers over some taxes, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> they forget. We overthrew a government to create this country. The fucking British are coming. <laughs> Suck a butt, dude. Dude. I'll fucking throw you in that fucking the tea party, motherfucker. Don't do it. Don't get thrown in You want to get tar and feathered, motherfucker? Because that's how you get tar and feathered. Right. You want to start a new colony? Because that's how it starts, yeah. dude. Fuck out of here. Virginia's out of their mind, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to take those guns, fuck right? Thinking. Get out of here. Try that shit down here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It won't be a peaceful pro- protest. I promise you that. Nah, be some you go have a shit. Had a one yeet yeet motherfucker show up. Who getting so, shot first? Right. Who taking what? No. 
No, sir. Yeah, fuck all that. So, yeah, that was kind of neat that you could have a rally like that, a protest and peaceful. And people be fucking strapped to the gills. And no issues. Dudes had AR-15s, handguns, fucking, this dude had, lucky like, had a fucking old 50 cal off a fucking tank. But that's part of it, right? Like, these these crimes that happen, these these um, mass shootings or whatnot that happen in gun-free zones. Yep. Why, that's because no one else is strapped. Right. You go to a place like this, everyone's strapped. Who's going to fucking shoot the first shot? Yep. Nobody. Because you're not going to make it very far. Yeah, no, because Mitch, you're getting shot. Yeah. Like that shooting that happened in the church. I man didn't get popped nothing off. Nope. Rop, rop, done. Done, head Everybody piece. else had like seven other people was holding their shit ready yeah. to go. Dude's coming in fucking guns drawn right, like, right. Huh, who who did it? That's Don't worry it. about it. I got him. Bro, for real. Two to the face. Sick. He down. Carry him for Jesus, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Not in my house. Not in my house. Yeah, dude. I'm with it. Don't take our rights. Nah. Fucking give us more. Right. You know? <laughs> Fuckers. Somebody if I saw one talking about don't take don't take my gun right away. I want, or I want my I want my gay daughter to be able to have her gun to protect while she grows her marijuana or right. <laughs> something like that. Right. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Like you can't stop bad people from having guns. You gotta let the good people have it. It's just right. one it's, of those it's, things. It's tit for tat. Yeah, and I hear these. I hear these people. What do you need that big old machine gun for? Oh, fucking why not? Yeah. Also, you know what I mean. If I want to have a fucking RPG, <laughs> fuck it, dude. <laughs> I'm going up to Walmart on them turn. I'm gonna take the RPG with me, babe. That's right, not a bad a good idea. Time. That's have not a bad time. idea. Have a good for time. Sure. For sure, take the RPG to Walmart on them turn. Dude, my fucking ass is killing me. I'm, I think my ass is asleep. I'm for sure it is. I'm getting fucking uneasy over here. Well, these chairs look good. That's the fuck they do. <laughs> I'm going to need one of the fucking hemorrhoid donuts, but. <laughs> oh, give me one of those fucking like outdoor furniture pads that stick in this motherfucker. So I can sit. I'm feeling every piece of wood in the bottom of this We will have to fluff these up. Yeah. Damn. And we need a fluffer. <laughs> yeah. Who's yeah, like, I mean, hey, listen, if you're a fluffer, saw the DMs and right. make this more looking, comfortable. He's looking for a job. <laughs> he's looking for work. It's part-time. It's part-time. It's only two days a week. Right. Fluff these uh, chairs up. Yeah. That's what we Yeah. Right. <laughs> Fluff these we chairs. We need a cradle and a fluffer. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Let's <laughs> get it. We need a beer girl for real. Oh, my gosh. You need a mini fridge in here. Yes. that's I, I've always wanted one in Why here. Why don't we just do this at the fridge? <laughs> Set all this up in the <laughs> kitchen. Yeah, Amanda will love that. Wouldn't she? No. no. Oh. Do I hear that again? You're taking over my fucking house. Uh, yeah. It's our house. It's the house that Saucy built. I must protect this house. <laughs> we need to go see Bad Boys 3. Yes. You haven't seen it yet? Nope. That's a fucking shock. That's amazing. We haven't gone seen it. There's always tomorrow. I know, dude. I shouldn't have said anything because you're going to go tomorrow now. Bro, I want to go to the fucking Brumos thing they just opened. Oh, the, the museum? Yes. How is that different from the one that was open? Or was it not open to the public? I don't think it was ever open to the public. Okay. This is open to the public. You got to buy tickets, make your reservations, right. pick your time slot, I guess you go. Mm-hmm. That shit's raw. Oh, yeah. You can see all that shit that we couldn't have access to. I want to see the fucking Steve McQueen Porsche. Yeah, I want to see all of them. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that was, I asked uh, Snodgrass today. I was like, can I take my camera? He's like, yeah. He goes, I don't think you could use flash, though. I'm like, bet. How weird is that? Why? Because it's aggravating. To who? Any, have you ever seen a flash on my fucking, uh, that I use? Yeah. It'll blind you. So, takes a good fucking picture. Yeah, but, I mean, I can set up a tripod and do a long exposure and get the same effect. You don't have to listen to you bitch about everybody walking in front of your fucking camera. Move! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take a picture here. I'm the only one here. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> biatch. You see this tripod? Yeah. Don't Damn my see, camera. Do you see me working or not? Because okay. I'm about to punch in a dick. Right. You can't do it. Oh. <laughs> It'll be cool. I'd like to go see it. Oh, yeah. They For start sure. at 10 o'clock in the morning through, I have to look and see what time they close, but. It was like five days a week? Seven days nope, a week? two days. Two Thurs- days. Thursday and Fridays. You said that, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, I'll check it out. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> I just love rubbing that mic on your nose, dude. It's so weird. Yeah, but people you switch mics and like. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you why I drag across your mic. Aw, say no more, dog. <laughs> you know what I need to do an order of Tots. these nuts. Oh yeah, you out? Yeah, I'm out. Damn, gotta give me some more. I try calling that dude. Left voice Yeah, right, apparently. I'm just gonna say, hey, bro, you in or not? Yeah, you want a piece of this or not? Yeah. 
Fuck it. Because we got new we got new sponsors. Every day. Well what, True Image? Yeah. You know? Just come on board. Yep. Yeah. He paid long term commitment. Yeah, he paid three months in advance. Love that. <laughs> like yes. You know I mean? Well, you know, we'll see your potential. Let's work together. Yeah. Man. You know? Let's do it. Fuck yeah. Don't forget to pay, like <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. Yeah. Just make room for more. I talk to yeah. a couple other people too. So, well, I need to get a hold. Of, there's somebody down in uh, Riverside, a hair cutter. I need to get a hold of. <laughs> sure. Not hair cuttery, but a uh, yeah. barber. <laughs> hair cuttery. Hair cuttery kind of does that. Hey, man, there's a eight dollars a fucking cut. Let's go. Let's get it. You want to wash too? Let's go, dude. There's nothing like the pay, the barber shop like washing your hair. <sighs> That's what I. That's like the for. only reason I want to go to those places. I want to go in there. I want her to dip my head back, put her titties on my forehead, <laughs> right. and right. wash the fuck. Get out your of nails my head. in there. Oh yes. Massage my scalp. You know. There's nothing better. Like in school, that's all I fucking want was chicks to play with my head. Right. Like in. Oh, uh, same. Like they would just rub my hair, <laughs> right. like run their fingers. I'm like. Right. I just fucking melt, boy. Sure. German class. I'm up. Just sleep. <laughs> Get my head German rubbed. German class. I passed. There you go. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah, no, it's a good time. They Big don't do that at a typical barbershop. Big shout out to uh, Coach Marshall, who was my German teacher. There you go. Well, we are Marshall. Yeah, they don't, in like a men's barbershop, they don't wash your fucking hair. Nah. They just you know, your shit. Don't get touch out, my fucking better, head. Better get out with that foo lame shit. Yeah, first of all, don't touch my head. Yeah, first of all, not you. Right. <laughs> Her, None of these dudes are out, right. But you can't talk too much shit because they'll fucking do you a good proper shave, and they got that fucking fresh blade right oh, next to your straight forehead. razor. Like, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! That's why I don't do. Yeah, hit my cheeks. Yeah, hit my line in the back. Don't touch my fucking beard. I need to go get my damn my neckline trimmed up. I haven't. Mm. Yeah, this shit's out of control. Wild man, Teen Wolf up in here. It's cold. Don't dude. scare Roll me, bro. Shit, bro. Don't scare me with that <laughs> Teen Wolf show, shit, bro. I'm gonna show you, dude. The, can I stay here? The internet's down in my house. <laughs> No. Bro. Yeah, fuck it. Come on. What am I going to do? Go home and talk to people? Oh, bro. Let me tell you about a little Let Iggy. Let me tell you about her. Little Iggy about old roommate. Iggy, Iggy. Does she listen to this? I don't know. She fucking should. Yeah, she should. I'll give her a pot, uh, sticker. Um, Slap it on her car. Slap her she just called me a little while ago. Her door fucking her bedroom. Car's broke or something. Is it? It's a Ford, think, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thinks a starter or something's going out. Yeah. I think it's the Ford, probably. Well, anyway, I was out there washing. It was, I was washing the um the Jetta for that cruise at the Brunswick, right? Yes. She's out there washing her um torch, whatever the fuck the thing is. Right. Right. And uh, Amanda comes out. She's raising hell, bitching about something. Right. So me and her going back and forth. I'm like, I can't hear what the fuck you're saying. I said, like, I can't hear you over all your bitchiness or something like that, right? Just fucking with her. Right. So then I look at I look at roommate. I'm like, don't ever get married. I was like, just, you know, she's like, uh, she just starts laughing. She's like, I've been married three times, yo. I'm like, no, what? She's, I was, she's like, I was married three times before I was 26. I'm like, I about choked on my fucking tongue. Yo, oh. I was like, God damn, bitch. I said, Y'all competing? I said, you fucking, <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> I was like, damn, your record's worse than mine. Three. Three and oh. At least my oh fucking, three. at least my marriages were fucking like 10 years apart. She was three and done before 26. You, that's hustling. I said, damn. I said, yeah, I just have them on deck. Like, like I'm going to marry you and then you and then you. I was like, what the fuck? I said, did you just marry the motherfucker when they just said hi? <laughs> I like you. Let's go down here and get married. Okay. All right, then. I was like, God, that get your redhead, right? I was like, you, I said, that's, that's that goddamn voodoo pussy. Gets him every time. Christ. I'm in love. I'm in love with a stripper. Let's get married. I love you. What's okay. That? Isn't, that that, isn't that a song, Let's Get Married by, who's that by? Old R&B song. Oh, shit. Is it Jodeci? No. no. Casey and Jojo? Who is it? No. <laughs> Let's get married. What is it, dude? Am Fuck, I wrong? I'm, no. Look it up. I'm about to look it up. Bro, I'm going to get it on to that song later. Oh. <sighs> Fuck, I can see the fucking video right? too. It's it's uh fuck. Is it Casey and Jojo? Am no. I wrong? No. You're wrong. Who is it? I can fucking see it, dude. No, you can't. Bro, I can see you. Wrong. <laughs> fucker. Jagged Edge. Jagged Edge, yes, dude. But they had a remix, remember? Remix. Wait, what a uh, Reverend Run? What a Reverend Run fuck out of here. Yeah. Jagged Stupid Edge. Stupid t shirt t TV show. Fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Well, we went to the fucking club after this. Oh, yeah. Can't play too much of that. You know, we'll get fucking flagged on YouTube. Right. We can't monetize. <laughs> Ooh. 
Fuck it. So now guess what? Suck my Peter. You gotta you listen do. to Ride or Die. Ride or Die. By whoever that is at yeah. No Fucking Royalties Music or whatever that Dot shit's com. called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at fucking you can use our shit for free dot com. Yeah. Appreciate actually, the beat. Actually it's uh what, no copyright sounds off of YouTube? Yeah, whatever it is, it's a, it's fair use music. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wow. Love your stuff. Right. I, I subscribe. Migos can eat it. I subscribed and followed. <laughs> Thank you. So, hope somebody's getting paid for it. Well, hopefully we will. Hey. Oh. Hey. We didn't get flagged last week. Yeah. One out of fucking 35 ain't bad. Yeah, one out of 35. <laughs> that, that We're bad in a million. Yeah. Our kill to death gonna come up real quick. <laughs> Jesus. Speaking of, you haven't been on in fucking forever. I know, dude. bro. We this gonna play tonight? No, you're kicked out of the clan. The fuck, I am. Yeah, bitch, I created you're it. Off. You're out of the thread, dude. Whatever, bro. <laughs> I don't have internet, fool. I can't play. It'll be on my thing. You know, shit. If I know, I fuck. Okay, get a fucking one. Get a damn land cable and go plug that motherfucker into your neighbor's house. Here's the situation. Well, I want to say fuck you, AT and T. That's what we use here. Shut up. Oh, listen. I appreciate your service. I hate your customer service. Ooh. I don't like that I have to call this number, okay? And I have to go through. I go all the way through this automated system. You put in your number. Put in. You can talk to this motherfucker like it's normal, but it's fucking George Jefferson. Oh, yeah. Jetson, not Jefferson. <laughs> Wheezy. It's fucking. It's some space age shit. This motherfucking robot, yeah. right? You get all the way through this fucking shit. Tell him my problem. Oh, you need to speak to an agent. Please hold. Oh, word? Do, do, do. Yeah, so now I got to wait. No, no, no. And then Liam in fucking India picks up. <laughs> Mother, fucking, Liam. This Hold motherfucker, on. my name is Liam. Hello, Mr. Schaefer. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is Billy. He's like, this is Liam. Fuck you, it is not Liam, dude. Okay, it's not Liam. It ain't Billy. No. And What's I it here, Haji? Your, number, your, na- your name is some shit that I can't say. Yeah. But here's the problem. I have this uh, American internet with, that I pay for with American money, and I call for my American phone. From my American house. And I have to speak to someone in another country. And I don't care. I don't care if you outsource your shit. I really don't. I don't care if you hire whoever the fuck you want. But if we can't communicate, you can't help me. Right. right? Because all they're doing is they're reading from a fucking screen. That's it. And once you give them a little fuck up, like a little glitch in their fucking matrix, boy. They don't know what to they say. They don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> just like. All right, quit reading the fucking screen. Mm-hmm. Shut the. I always tell them. I told them, I said, shut the fuck up. Damn, you're being like that. Oh, yeah. Because you get on fucking hold for a fucking hour. Oh, they won't shut up, too. They'll go on. They'll yeah, ramble. I'm like, shut up for a fucking minute right. and listen to what I'm telling you. Right. It's doing this, this, and this. Yeah. I've rebooted your system. I've rebooted my modem. I've rebooted my fucking router. I've rebooted my house. I've rebooted every fucking right. thing. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I said, put somebody on the goddamn phone that I can speak with. Have you tried them? No, shut up. Right. You just got to go give me. Your supervisor. Um, well, you ask for, what is it called? Onshore. Onshore. Oh. You have to ask for onshore tech support. Oh, so I ain't got to cuss these fuckers out no more? Mm-hmm. No, I'll just say transfer me to onshore technical support. I'll still do it. Yeah. So you, they can't, if you can't, if we can't talk to each other and I can't understand what you're saying mm-hmm. and, and you can't understand what I'm saying, well, you can't help me. Well, so right, now we're right, back right, to fucking right. zero. And I tell this dude, the internet's down at my house. Mm-hmm. I want to report an outage just so you know. You yeah. already know, but yeah. just so you know, my house is affected too. Mm-hmm. Let me get that credit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Give me a credit for the day. Let me get that credit. Right. But also, so I'm in the system as my shit ain't working. Oh, speaking of credit, I had to fucking, uh, a man had to transfer some money into my account. I got in the next day. Damn, oh, you playing that game too close. Yeah, too close to the month, boy. Uh. This fool does a line test. After I just told him my shit was out. Yeah. He goes, stand by, we'll do a line test. You're testing my fucking patience, homeboy. (laughs) I told you this shit's down. It's down. You don't need to double check my shit. Like... (laughs) You're going to do a line test on like, my fucking garage floor, too? He said, oh, fuck you. He said, oh, oh, it is fucking down. Yo, no kidding. No shit. No shit. Fucking Liam. Yeah, it's down, dude. It's down like my garage floor. Fucking Aladdin. I know it's down. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> you go stop talking about my fucking floor. I can use mine. God. I mean, it ain't pretty, but it's usable. I've been told Thursday or Friday it should be done. <laughs> do you hear crickets? I don't know. We shall see. Uh, whatever. Maybe are they doing it again? Let's go. We're going to see if I have internet, internet or a garage first. We're going to see what happens. Are they bringing an MVP to do it? If by if uh, if by MVP you mean same motherfucker, yes. Oh, they're not bringing help. 
I thought the fucking company you called said, we'll, we'll send Dude, somebody out here. Here's what I'm telling you. A lot of people say a lot of things. <laughs> but. And at the end of the day, I can't control any of it. Sucks. So I've been told that it will be fixed Thursday or Friday. Or they're just going to tear down your garage. Yeah, that's it. I think what they're going to do is light a match. <laughs> and then we'll see what they happens. They have to scrape everything off of no, the floor. No, you just sand it down until it's rough. Sand it down through all that bullshit. Until all the clear is gone. So the clear is the only thing that's not sticking. The clear is, but it's like orange peeled and it didn't, it started curing. It has a really small work window where Mm. you can work with it because the garage is larger and it's one person. Better hire a motherfucker. Right. So they're using a different product that's going to lay down like glass. (gasps) We shall see. We shall fucking see. 12 times a charm. It ain't been 12 times. All right. Three. Three. (laughs) This will be four. This will be the fourth Fourth application. Right. Hmm. (laughs) Your boy is like a shitty doctor. I'm out of patience. You know what I'm saying? Like, (laughs) fucking. You're so stupid. Yeah. I'm fucking delirious over the shit, bro. I've lost sleep over this fucking thing. So you can't put nothing in a garage. You haven't used your garage. Oh, no. I put shit in there because I don't. I give a fuck. I give a fuck. Move my shit. That's it. (laughs) I mean, nothing crazy. I got my my deep freezer. Okay, it's not plugged in. It's just sitting there. It's okay. light. You know what I mean. A couple coolers, a box. But I mean, I didn't put my shit in there. No, uh, just some shit I needed out of my laundry room. Okay, I needed some space. Needed some space. <laughs> right. So yeah, move it, whatever, or don't fuck it. I don't care. Have you seen the shit in the street? You can't do nothing in my garage. Uh, at this point, I'm just well, do what you're gonna do, so I can fucking carry on with my life. Right. You know. It's like a. You're, it sounds like you're going through like a bad breakup. It's something, dude. <laughs> Uh, I'm just I want to I want to finish moving into my house, you know. Yeah. So it's coming up. I'm it's, sure it'll be fine. It was it's kind of it's kind of crazy because like I know how you are. And, and what to see you, what the fuck is that? And to see you pissed off over something is kind of just funny to see. Well, I'm glad I could meet you. <laughs> God. But I I I know Cody away from that. You know, away from his business. Yeah. You know. Oh, listen, uh, every interaction I've had with Cody has been cool. Like, yeah, I like chill. talking to him. He's chill as fuck. You know, he did a great job painting my house. Mm-hmm. My cabinets look great. I've referred him, his mm-hmm. paintwork and all that stuff. I don't, don't know how much, how familiar, this product's new to him, I think. I think, that, I, mean? I think the whole process of the door it, floor is. And it's unfortunate that we didn't discuss that ahead of time. You're a guinea pig. You know, and that's, and so be it, but. I'm not taking an L. You know what I mean? You yeah. gotta take that L, not me. Yeah. You know? So Well, he told me when we when I was at Eurofed and he was working on my car because mm-hmm. me and him had my shit up on the rack. Yeah. He was saying that, you know, he's not gonna he said he he, oh, yeah, no, he's he won't stop it, until yeah. that motherfucker is right. Yeah, but I'm, and that's cool and all. It's just like, oh, well, we're in a time situation. You know, I need that space. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, it's just a garage, but I need to put stuff in it. That's in my spare yes. room. Yes. <laughs> you know? It'll get sorted out. It's just taking longer than it should, and it's frustrating. But at the end of the day, it'll be finished, and I can carry on. Calm down, young grasshopper. Hey, you brought it up. I didn't bring it up. Hey, you're fired up now. Oh, because you brought it up. You can be <laughs> motherfucking passionate, okay? <laughs> Hold my motherfucking I'm just beer. really excited to have it finished. You know, I'm just really excited because it's going to look so fucking I want to do some baller. photos of the XB on that bitch. That's been the talk. Cody and I talked about that from the get-go. He was like, I know Joey's going to come over here and just do a killer shot. So I got LED lights going in the garage. Yeah. It's going to be bright as shit. Yeah. The walls are painted. Yeah. And we just got to finish up this one last thing. We just got to get the fucking wood out of fucking uh, <laughs> Jay Quellen's trunk so we can build a fucking stripper stage. Oh, could you imagine? Put a pole in there. Bruh. Bruh. I might do that. Do it. In the corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Up next on center stage, a divorce. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Your boy is single. <laughs> she ain't having that shit. Hell no. No. She'd be like, what? Built her little bar. She can get right back to work slinging beer. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, it's like old times. Yeah. Bitch, we met in the strip club. Right. Hey, like, what's the problem? Don't call her that. Hey, Lindsay, we <laughs> met in the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, she would be like, no. No. There's a reason like, I moved up. Right. We're past that. Yeah. Whatever. Only, only strip one night. It was not for you. Right. Uh huh. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Where was I that night? <laughs> In the VIP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back. 
Wow. Man, let's get a party bus. Do it. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. No. Go back to Molly Brown's? Fuck. No. Why not? I don't know. Molly Brown's was good. Yeah. I feel like it's like B Squad lately. Lately? Well. When was the last time you've been to fucking Molly Brown's? The last Brown? few times we went. Oh. Uh, and then at one standout. That was, yes. Had the one standout. That bitch had a tattoo of but, the fucking Disney cast on her thigh. Shit, that was. Who knows though? That could be like a six around, surrounded by threes. You don't know. You're true, but shit, the other strip clubs fucking suck compared to that one. I mean, if you were in college and you were like a twenty-two, that yeah. last one we went to probably would have been the most fire shit. Yeah, but we're but not. we're fucking thirty and forty something. Yeah, our fucking knees are grinding as we're walking fucking right. blocks, and we probably just look like some creeps. Oh, yeah. Standing behind everybody like, let me get a peek. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I got a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Should have went right back to Molly Brown's and called it a night. Something, dude. I don't know. I ain't with it. Dragging your fucking poor dad around looking at titties. <laughs> he says, ready to go home, dad? Nah. I'm nah, okay. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> He's, He's like, nah, I'm fucking good. Fucking knees buckling. He's like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> I'll just pop a few of these ibuprofen. Yeah, and I'll be all right. good. I was like, why are those ibuprofen blue, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking party That dude had no business being that mother- and he was fucking he wouldn't make it rain. But he was just steady dishing money. Oh yeah, no, he's a you you good you good? Y'all go to VIP. Go ahead. You hear you here. Live through me. <laughs> I'll I'll come back with stories, Mr. Right. Mr. Morty. Damn. <laughs> I remember when he used to I would go to Daytona with him when I was young. I was probably 16, 15, 16, and he would take me with his friends to Daytona like mm-hmm. for Spring Break Nationals, big car sound show oh, and stuff yeah. they used to have down there. I remember. And I would, you know, I wasn't old enough to go out, so I'd stay at the hotel and they would go out. Fuck. And his buddies would come back drunk as shit. Like, <laughs> and you got to hear all the stories. Yeah, I'm like, fuck. Now here we are. Now we are. <laughs> doing the same shit. The same dumb you shit. You see the titties on that bitch? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, dang. Right. Cinnamon, what? Mm. Damn. And now it's like coming up on center stage, crystal clear. Crystal clear. <laughs> that shouldn't yeah. happen in my life. Nope. Wah, wah. The invisible woman. I mean, we used to go out. Like, that was. Lindsay and I would go out. Mm-hmm. And that's where we would go. Strip club. Oh. Well, Strip clubs are fun. Nights. Strip clubs are fun. Yeah. Just go drink beer, hang out. Your Especially girls go with a crew. Your girls gonna get fucking mussed about the fucking strippers. Sure, you're not gonna get touched, right? You, you, yeah. But who cares? The fucking I'm just here for the atmosphere. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they always got good music. Yeah. They're not gonna play no fucking trash ass music. No, hell no. Can't make no money to trash music. Mm-mm. So, but I guess there's a time and place for all that shit. Yeah. And that shit may have passed. <laughs> that ship has sailed. Now it just seems like all Lindsay all the all she wants to do is read a book, go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so she's no, she it's just not one of the things that we do. She's not a big drinker. No. You know, and yeah, I mean she works and takes we do house shit and I'm trying to get her to come out to more car shit. Yeah. Like and I'm Saturday Saturday was it Saturday, Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. That was like a Sunday, big Sunday, Sunday. That was a huge step backwards <laughs> to get her to come out to things because that sucked. <laughs> Yes. So she's she was like, like she's like, Wow, these people are really young. Yeah. And it was cold. Chilly willy. And they're still just standing there like boom, you know. I had a good time with Kendra. She's hilarious. She was asking me questions and stuff. Yeah. Mr. Joy, what's this? Mr. Joy, what's that? Yeah, she likes to what's, know. What does this do? She likes to know about it. I was shit. like, You see these bright lines? They don't look like your dad's. Right. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's like shit on me night. What's going on here? <laughs> At least, you had, at least you got something to shit on. I don't. That's true. Like, you see over here on Joey's car. Oh. Oh. No. no. You see where the engine's? Oh, oh. You don't know where the engine goes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, yeah. I like a three year build. It's cool. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, she, you know, Kendra enjoys doing stuff like that, just see different stuff. She's always got questions. She wants that truck. I think if in the future, if we get, like, car shows, maybe, would probably be better suited. For mm-hmm. them to go to, over a, a cru- well, like a cruising or a yeah, car yeah. meet, meet, yeah, yeah, because you know there's going to be other females. Well, then people remember we had a damn meet and we're talking to the dude with the fucking gray truck, and this other dude just walks up, fucking oh, Crump City, smoking a, smoking a cigarette. Uh, I think he works for that guy. Said he's fucking drunk. I've been drinking. Today. And the dude's like, "You gonna be to work tomorrow?" And he's, like, "Yes, sir." 
And I was like, Well, and you saw the guy smoking. I, I didn't saw the, register to me. Yeah, I, I saw him saw fucking smoking. I'm not giving a fuck. So yeah. I was like, Kendra, come stand over here by me so you're not breathing that bullshit. And he just was like, Who? Oh, uh, he's, he's like, Oh shit. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, Oh, I'm rude as fuck. Yeah. Oh, let me take a step back for this big motherfucker knocks my head off. Yeah. So in situations like that, you know, it's like, I got you, dog. Well, I mean, they're not, Lindsay's not going to want to do that. No. Nah. You know? I don't want to hang out with a bunch of cigarette smoke. I don't either. I'm fucking so gross, dude. Ooh, so gross. So nasty. It's like, get your grossness away. There's yeah. this salesman at the dealership, and they, when it's slow, him and his other buddy, they take a cigarette break and they walk the fucking perimeter of everything out back. Mm-hmm. And they walk right in front of my shop. Smoking away. Smoking away, blowing that shit everywhere. Shit blows right in the fucking. Blow. Like, no, I don't want one, man. Thanks. Like, <laughs> fuck are you doing dude that's when you just pull your fucking ear pot i'm like bruh we'll just turn the fan around and blow it right in his face like right. like hey motherfucker <laughs> right like have a little courtesy or something yeah, right. who doesn't want to smell that gross shit yeah i ain't trying to get secondhand smoke bro i quit years ago you know i can't believe you was using a smoker bro like a fucking train okay. yeah i smoke a lot a lot a lot, lot. Well, fucking navy do that to you everything yeah had you, smoking, like had eight, you, had you 17, smoking, 18. fucking sucking dick. <laughs> in the Navy. <laughs> Navy, I know, Navy had you all fucked I up. I can't wait for Sasser to get out. I know he's tired of blowing dicks. Oh, I know. His fucking throat hurts probably all the time. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, so cigarettes are gross. It's not, it's not gay if you don't fucking make eye contact. It's still gay. I mean, every time Sasser sucks, my dick his eyes are always closed. <sighs> <laughs> are you in the navy never did you ever think about joining the military no no never it was like bro when fucking when you mil- realized you weren't gonna play football when you the didn't. military was calling me yeah because yeah. they call you as soon as you're fucking 18 yeah, they come to the school oh yeah like, hey, hey we're recruiting hey, you ever thought about it? i'm like bro i'm 6'6 385 pounds what the fuck am i gonna hide behind you seen full metal jacket you right <laughs> have you seen full metal jacket Somebody called the house one you time. Could have been private pile. No, the fuck I could not. <laughs> this is my rifle. This is my gun. Right. Fucker called the house. Say, yeah, this is the army. Here we need. We need. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> well, why is that? I'm like, I'm six six three eighty five. I can't hide behind shit. He's like, you have a good day, sir. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your country appreciates you. Yeah. I was nah. fucking big as fuck as a senior. Yeah. I was just like, I was working at the fucking country cabin. You know, when I'm done, yeah, hell yeah, slinging fucking dishes, part time cooking, like you sleeping probably, on my sister's couch. You probably fucked my man, my order up well, so many times. Quarter chicken, this mother coming in at fucking <laughs> nine o'clock, want a quarter chicken, bitch. <laughs> yeah, so sleeping on my sister's couch. I'm like, this ain't gonna work, man. I seen that Navy commercial. I was like, bet, let's go, let's go be a seal. <laughs> They Did show you me that. that they show me that video though. You want to be a seal? Oh, fuck yeah! Fuck I do. yeah! Do want to kick some ass? Yeah. So they're like, all right, cool. I went to boot camp. They had fucking that day where everybody that decided that thought they want to be special warfare go fucking try out. <laughs> Dog. You thought fucking football yeah. practice was hard? They were like, oh, all right, everybody, you you seals, you're uh, what you fucking call this shit? Um, EOD, fucking divers, all that shit. that's what you go. All right, you got to go past this fucking physical fitness shit. See what you're really about. Okay. All of us came back. <laughs> Damn, you're nutty all about they it. They were like, Mm-mm. "No, that was cool. All right, but we'll check y'all out later." <laughs> like, Mm-mm. Uh, y'all run until I tell you to stop. Oh, bro. Three days later. I mean, that shit's next level, dude. Like, there was a like what they have you do that you was like, "No, nah, bro, I can't." I mean, it's just like your normal shit in boot camp. You should just run a lot, doing a lot of calisthenics and shit like that. But it's teach your body limber. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a combination of things. Um, jump off this huge high dive. You got to do a lot of shit in the water. Um, it's just it like puts how, you through like, exhaustion. Like how high is high dive? Well, it's like it's just a drop in. You know, arms across your chest, drop in. I'm fucking higher than the roof, dude. Like high, high at the pool. Like twenty feet, probably, maybe more. Pussy? No, nah, maybe more than that. But it's not just the jump, like it's whatever. But the shit you got to do in the water, um, dude. Uh, my old teacher, Mister Deaver, he was a uh, the wrestling coach, uh, taught science, and he was our uh, what was he? Something on the football team, like the 
like the on-field medic, I guess, or whatever. He had this thing or whatever. Nurse. Yeah. Anyway, he was the one that got his leg lopped off. Yeah. By the fucking boat when they picked him up mm-hmm. out of the water. Sure. Um, he was telling some of the shit that he had to do. Bro, ain't no fucking way. Really? He said they fucking tied their hands behind, like, they're like the fucking wood poles. Like, yeah. a, like a power pole, mm-hmm. but they're sectioned. Logs. They're yeah. Like, yeah. Fucking hands tied behind that motherfucker. Like, it's behind your back. Yeah. Right? Throw you in the fucking water. Yeah, survive. You either fucking get your hands untied or you drown. Sink or swim, baby. So he said, you know, by the third time of fucking drowning, you know, they re- and they revive you. Yeah. You know, as soon as you re- they revive you and you fucking start puking out in the fucking water and they tie your ass up again, do it again. Mm-hmm. Well, they try to break you is what it is. Oh, yeah. And the water's cold in Coronado. It's fucking ice cold. He said one, uh, he said, I think he said he fucking passed out like three times, mm-hmm. you know, before he finally got it. Um, he said they fucking, um, uh, and one, I guess it's like if you was to get caught or something like an interrogation thing, he said they fucking shot fucking warm fucking like gear grease up his ass. Ooh. Hey, he said, bro, I shit green for a fucking week. I bet. Lose it. Goosey. There's a lot of sleep deprivation. Um, people they, lose their fucking mind. They don't get enough sleep. Mm-hmm. That's what happens. Oh yeah. But they want to see how you're going to deal react. with it every day. Yeah. It's, I'm I, surprised I'm, the man has gone this long. I met a guy. I was friends with a guy who was after we had got through boot camp, stationed all that shit. He was going to. He put in his package to go seal, and um, he was training for it. He would purposely eat and drink shit that would make him puke when he's running, so he could get used to throwing up while running, shit his pants while running, like just so he could get in the mindset of like nothing. I'm not gonna stop. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking keep shit and running, bro. He broke his leg, like oh no. He got through hell week, broke his leg, had to get sent back, had to go through it again. He, ne- he, didn't ne- he never ended up finishing SEAL training. Fuck. But, yeah, he went through so it. So he shit his pants for nothing? <laughs> I mean, I do it all the time. That's true. But I ain't getting no prizes. Yeah, you just fucking learn. I've known, I know a couple cats that were special warfare, never SEALs, but uh, it's a different model. You're a different motherfucker, dude. Yeah, your mindset's totally different. You're unbreakable, dude. I, I don't. I couldn't do it. Mm-mm. They move Hell Week what, up now. What was your job in the Navy? I was a gunner's mate. So uh, small mean? arms. I was a small arms dealer. A small arms gunner. Uh, <laughs> where it depends. Like where I was stationed. You ever seen Saving Private Ryan? Yes. In the beginning, and when they're coming onto the beach with the U boats, and they drop them, mm-hmm. and they run onto the beach, and they go, "Where are all the beach masters?" And the guys like, "They're all dead." That's what I did. You was a beach master. <laughs> I was a beach master. My first. You did. Yeah. Well, we. Don't you have like some higher rank to be that? Mm-hmm. No, they, they so like all your spec ops guys go in secure an area, like they go inland. Mm-hmm. Then we come to the beach, right, and we secure that area, and we handle the offload of all the marines to go inland if there's a conflict. We do a lot of training exercises, but that's the sequence of events. So we mm-hmm. handle, we secure the beach, and then we run the offload so from, you, from the ship to the shore. So were you strapped? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. I didn't know you were a badass, bro. Sorry. Sorry, you couldn't tell? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your abs. No, like, um, <laughs> yeah, so that's what I, I did was a gunner's mate. I dealt with all the small arms gunners. We didn't have. So how the fuck you sign up for that? Like, I want to be a bad motherfucker on this boat. Well, initially I went to boot camp as. You want to be a Navy SEAL? I don't want to be that bad. I'm not that cool, but I was actually. Um, I got bad knees. Signed up as a machinist mate on submarines. That Ooh, was what I went to boot camp That would have been fucking dope. Until you talk to motherfuckers at boot camp who are, have had experience with submarines, the motherfuckers go down for three months at a time. Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> Fuck. You've been there for a while, You've bro. You've been there for a long ass time. Anybody get mail? This is back before fucking Wi Fi, internet. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Miles under the sea, motherfucker. You ain't got Wi Fi. No, but I mean, now they have, you can get signal down there. How? Dude, there's advancements. You, not Wi Fi, but you can get communications down there. Yeah, but they ain't like fucking. But you can, yeah, you can get internet, internet traffic, yeah. Oh, on some underwater, areas. yes. How they blue, they lay pipes blue, underwater, blue. <laughs> like it's legit. But like back then, it was like mail call. You weren't getting that shit. Stores, shit like that. Food, like you had to take enough shit. I was like, mm, that sounds sketchy. Do they have a fucking cafeteria on a fucking submarine? I've never been on one, so I, I'm sure they do. Yeah, they have a galley. <laughs> Fucking, we're down there for three months. What's fucking it? first month. We found joy in the pantry. <laughs> right, this one, the, we got to go back. So I met friends that were <laughs> machinist mates. This motherfucker <laughs> ate everything. 
<laughs> well, that, well, that three month turned into a one month, boys. <laughs> we got to we got to come back up, boys. Well, they gonna start eating your ass. Oh well, yeah, fire me, bitch. So I, I changed gears in boot camp and decided I want to do that. I don't want to be on another fucking yeah. submarine. So it turned into this, and then after my when I went to shore duty, I was a teacher. Everybody, everybody that I've talked to that's been in the navy or fucking military, they always been like, "Bro, you would not fit." on anything no there's tight quarters on the ship like the ship like you having to walk through the fucking holes oh, yeah. everything's got to, you got to step over oh and then you have to go down levels mm -hmm. like you're going through a scuttle <laughs> my boy you're not going through a scuttle nah bro i ain't built for scuttle life mm -hmm. and then like those the, the ladders and shit are narrow dude mm -hmm. and these hips don't lie fucking for real dude yeah <laughs> he's like oh. that's, that's what i was kind of so i was kind of worried about these chairs like these hips don't lie yeah it's tough. Then you gotta be com you gotta be comfortable with like people fucking yelling at you, and that sucks. Mm. It's mo mainly boot camp when you get out of it. I dealt that. Like I dealt with that shit for eighteen years. It's like a regular job, but people can still yell at you if they want. Yeah. And you're just like, oh. mm -mm. fuck. Ain't it's no way. Ain't no way yelling at me. But it was fun, man. I enjoyed it. Hey, it was, got some got some couple kids out of it. A couple kids saw the world a few times. Yeah, whatever. It's cool. How many prostitutes did you get while you're out? Oh, uh, none. Wink, wink. <laughs> you talk to me after the show. We'll, we'll do another interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, don't. I feel like I'm interviewing you, like for real. Prostitutes, man. They gotta do. Everybody's gotta. Everybody's got a job. They gotta do their thing. Do man. thing. I do want to go to um, Amsterdam one year. Yes, you know what I mean, just to see that. The window strippers? dancers, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what like I mean? Like the, the was it the red light district or something? Yeah, like yeah. you yeah. see them in the window just to see. I it. just want to walk down the street, blaze my ass off, and fucking look at dumb yeah. shit. I mean, why not? Just so I can say, hey, I've been there. I want some wooden shoes. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking tab dancing all over this fucking place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, just to go. Just why not? But see, that's the only thing, though. Like, if I go, I'm not going to say no. I probably end up getting fucking divorced. You're not going to say no to what? Prostitution? Yes. I mean, you can. You'd be like, mm. No. I got to try it. <laughs> it's, like, what? it's like being in fucking St. Augustine. You right. see the fucking fudge being made. You have to try that's it. That's true. It's not quite the same thing. Let, <laughs> it, let it be a fucking redhead Asian dancing it, in that motherfucking window. Son. Let it be some fudge in that window. Yeah, <laughs> mine. Right. Just like it was the last like, dudes. How much for me to get in that window? Yeah, that's what I want to see. You know, oh, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. I'll be out there. You take a picture of me in the window. Oh yeah. I know that's his beard. Twerking for Molly. <laughs> right. I know those balls. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bang your metal against the glass. Yeah, ting ting ting. ting. Right. Tink tink is acrylic these days, my uh, You know, start calling you Tink Tink, low little Tink Tink, oh little Tink Tink. Yeah, maybe we'll see another country together one day. Yeah, take this saucy podcast worldwide, worldwide, prestige worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your boat. Are you investing or not? <laughs> you better not get in my face, the Nina. I'll the drop Pinta. that motherfucker. <laughs> I love that movie. But. Did you touch my drum? Did you touch my drum set? Not Joe's living heads. My dad's boat. <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. It's a good movie. Love it. Oh, part of the watch. I don't know, what oh, am I going to do tonight? I did watch um the new Maleficent movie. I started watching last night. I felt it's good. Is it? Mm -hmm. It started off pretty good. Yeah. I uh She's still hot. Woo, Angelina? Yeah, but the only fucking thing is like her ass bitch. fucking um wings. Not her wings, her fucking collarbone, her shoulders, dude. They're like, come to points. I'm like, they have to do that for the movie. I don't know. She's pretty bony. She's pretty dude. thin. Have you seen, like, if you've seen her in uh, Gia or. Didn't she have her tits cut off, too? Yes, preemptively. So she, but in case did she, she get implants? Yeah. Oh, so she got titties. She got titties. <laughs> okay, because I was like, damn, they put some titties in that fucking costume. Yeah, they did. Those were magnificent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You still, like, I'm mind blown. You know what I mean? Like she's not better looking than Jennifer Aniston. No, no, no. Right. She's. Jennifer, I like the crazy side of her, like Girl Interrupted or some oh, shit like yeah. that. But I mean, like, she's she's sexy in a slutty way, right? But, but not you, a take on the mom way. Was it? What was the movie that they did together? Who? Mister and Mrs. Smith? Yeah. She must have fucking rocked his goddamn world, and that's it. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Who was like, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. I got Jennifer Aniston at the house. Oh, does Jennifer suck your <laughs> dick like this? <laughs> <laughs> she do that two-handed basket weaving yeah, shit, yeah. <laughs> motherfucker. She no. went to fucking wishing a night away. <laughs> you only get fucking three wishes in this bitch. God damn. 
He just went straight home. He just went straight home. Oh, this ain't working out. I gotta go. <laughs> this ain't gonna work out. What happened? You've been watching this movie set. Well, yeah, well. Is it someone else? No. No, no. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah maybe. Yeah. It's this crazy ass chick who's yeah. gonna adopt 87 kids. Who's got fucking Billy Bob Thornton's blood in a vial around her neck. Creep. Okay, first of all, I'm not hooking up with a chick who's <laughs> fucking getting dicked down by Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton. Bad Santa. She yeah. ain't gonna shit right for a week. Yeah. What? Okay. No. Nah, you ain't running behind that. Nah. Uh uh-uh. uh. That shit smells like fucking bar rooms and fucking. It smells like pool. fucking Newports and fucking regret. <laughs> pool cues and fucking Fuck out of ashtrays. Here. Get real. Hell no. And then you see Jennifer Hansen. She's like, huh. Bro, she just keeps getting hotter. She's like, I'll yes, show you. She hasn't changed a fucking bit. Oh. And some of the movies she does, she's fucking hilarious. She's slutty. Yeah, she's she slutty when she like needs in, to be. Uh, what's that? Uh, we we are the we're the marsh we're the yes. What is it called? We're the oh, my horrible bosses. That too. Oh my oh, god, bitch, I, That fucking dude. Yeah, no, I'm going to that dentist. Yeah, for sure. Yes, you, you can shit on my chest. It's fine. Yes. Poop wherever you want. <laughs> for sure. Oh, <laughs> what? you need to ask me. Yeah, she's looking. Uh, why have you been to the dentist three times this week? Uh, because my teeth hurt. Right. That's weird. You've been eating fucking steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's still looking at new and Brad Pitt's just like, what have I done? Well, yeah, I'm so what stupid. What have I done? Well, now he's like, Christian, like super Christian. Oh, quit he's drinking, fucked. Quit drinking, all that shit. Oh, he's dumb. Well, because he's been drinking and doing drugs to so drown out all these kids. Yeah. She keeps bringing home more. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> How many times can you say daddy in different fucking languages? The one, the twins, the three adopt. I'm like, Jesus. Slow down. My they, have, they have one that's like theirs, right? They No, they have three that's theirs. They oh. had twins. Did they? Yeah. Fuck. I'm late. They had one and then twins. They adopted a couple. Yeah. What was the one's name? Maddox? Ain't that the oldest one? The Asian boy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. And then the... Um, the little black girl can't think of her name no i don't whatever adopt people that's cool with your adopting kids and shit he's just doing opium with fucking quentin tarantino in france like yeah you're not gonna believe this shit she brought home a fucking other one <laughs> he talks about kid. fucking he talks about kids like fucking me and amanda with fucking dogs yeah this bitch brought home another she puppy another one i don't know how we're gonna feed him you got another script for me? Yeah. And he's like, as a matter of fact, I do. Matter of fact, it's called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Have you seen that? It's I started watching it. Well, I didn't get to start watching it. It started playing earlier when I was working on the car. Yeah. But I never went back to so it. So good. So about a stunt man? Why are you? Because I'm hungry. He's the stunt man for Leo. Oh, okay. Yeah. But then like, this is all this crazy shit that happens. Around the time with like Charles Manson was becoming a thing, his cult was becoming a thing. Oh, that's what the set and like the Bruce Lee's in it. Like, really? Yeah, it's a cool. Oh, show. I want to see this. It's pretty rad. Long might movie, watch, but it's good. Might watch it when Amanda gets home. I got on my look, dumb daddy. I think it's like three hours. What the fuck? Yeah, it's so good. Dude, dude. These fucking directors and fucking they're like, you know what? Three three hours. Fuck it, we're gonna run it. Well, because they're having to compete with uh, Netflix, who's coming out with seasons at a time. Yes. So they want your attention. So what do they have to do? Make a three-hour fucking movie yep. to compete with a fucking eight-hour series. Pretty much. I get it. Because they got, they're trying to get the whole fucking story in three hours. Right. That's or Netflix is getting the whole goddamn book Yeah. in fucking eight. They can tell a three-hour story over eight hours. Oh, yeah. You know? It's like, you can cover all your bases. Love it. I, I, I dig a long movie. It's just tough to really set out that kind of time. All right. Speaking of movie, um, uh, movies that should have been fucking longer, the last Star Wars movie. If you ain't yeah, fucking seen a new Star Wars movie, you about to get some fucking spoilers. Uh, so you might want to count turn it down it. and fucking turn the shit off. Five, four, three, two, one. The Star Wars talk. Okay. The fucking final scene. Don't do fucking Palpatine with the fucking electric shit. That shit's played out. Right. We've seen. There should have been a fucking that should the the, the the fight scene between him. And Ray, um, Ray and Kylo Ren. Yeah, that should have been a fucking dope should've ass been fight. An epic fight. Yes, right. Lightsaber duels, fucking all that shit. Sure. Like they could have went fucking ham with that. They really. It's like they, they fucking phoned it in, bro. And they failed. The fight scene between Kylo Ren and the Order, or whatever the fuck they were called, they're called something. All those the dudes, all the ones that were set around. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're called the something. The Knights of the something 
I can't fucking remember. Anyway, that fight between Kylo Ren and them should have been fucking badass. Sure. And then you show Kylo's fucking true power. Right. And he'll, you know, and he'll fuck them up. That didn't happen. They really fucking screwed the story to yeah. appease the fucking casuals, I think. Yes. And it fucking drives me nuts, dude. Like, there was no closure between fucking they sh- um, Ren or um, what's the, the Finn. Right. Like, it kept leading up like he, he was going to tell Ray that he was in love with yeah. her. Yo. Never. Close, just, ne- never came back to it. Just left that. Left that alone. Yep. We didn't wow. ever, no wow. one said that uh, the other dude was gay. We didn't want to tell by that. Yep. The other pilot. Yep. Nobody said nothing about that. Um, I, th- It shouldn't have been that, they, that Kylo and her were in love. They should have been related. They're related. Like, I think that should have been the arc they went they should, with. They should have been related through the Force. I feel like they should have been related, like, through blood somehow. They should have went with that route instead yeah. of, you know what I mean, some yeah. other way. Because how is she supposed to feel? Nah, like. But they were like. They I can see force. your point with that, but it didn't bother me that they were there was a love interest there. But if there was going to be a love interest there, they shouldn't have killed him off. It bothers me because he's ugly as shit, dude. Fucking wing nut ears, bro. Like that's what bothers <laughs> me the most is that he's ugly as shit. Somebody made a post like shortly after the movie, told my oh all you bitches out here fucking to my oh he's so hot he was a marine. Okay, well here's his fucking his photo of when he was a marine. You gonna fucking fuck uh, that? No, nope. dude. Fucking five will goes west looking motherfucker, <laughs> dude. Like what? Got out of here, damn. dude. <laughs> he was a Kylo ugly. goes west. He was, he was an ugly motherfucker. Oh, uh, it's like who? How do you get this role, dude? Like for real? You somebody fucking a senator, right? God. But I mean, so they kill him off after he fucking saves her. Yep, he know, gives her part he, of him. He, part of him. He dies. Like he, they shouldn't have killed him off. If they're gonna fucking keep him as a damn a love interest, well, the, the story's over anyway. The series yeah. is done. Yeah, that one's done. So now they're just gonna do these Star Wars stories. Did they, uh, oh, you don't have it because you're fucking iPhone. But I have <laughs> my um, Google Now, whatever, will give me cards on shit. And Star Wars is one that I follow. And one of the things that popped up was, do you remember the dude? He was in one of the one of the original fucking movies. He flew with um, Chewbacca and I think uh, Kyrizian. He had like the, I don't want to be a, sound like a fucking racist or not, but he he looks he looked like Asian or Filipino or something, but he had the, like the big fucking slits. Oh, yeah, the slits. long slits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, he fucking died in the movie, and nobody fucking even knew it. They In this one? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The ship get blown up? Yep. Oh, and they were leading the attack or yep. whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude made it all the fucking movies and they killed him off. That's crazy. Fucked up. Could have just let him live. Right. At least Chewie lived. Yeah. You know? He finally got his fucking gold medal. Yeah, he did. Fucking C-3PO's fucking kicking. Yep. R2. Yeah. All right, I want to know how fucking good are the batteries in fucking R2 and C-3PO because them motherfuckers never charge. Never, <laughs> dude. These are the droids you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Though, I mean, you know, they, they got... Now that Disney owns the shit, it's going to run forever. It's just going to, and and they haven't disappointed, honestly. No, all this the Rogue One, uh, Rogue One is probably the best Star Wars movie since the original. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, Solo was okay. I like Solo. I thought Solo I thought was, it was good. cool as a separate origin movie. Kind of um, how he came about, why he was a yeah, way he was I, maybe a different character. I didn't really buy no. into him. They needed a different actor. Yeah, that dude did not look, Mm-mm. sound, didn't have those anything. Harrison mannerisms. No, no, none. I don't. And, I ain't mad at Amelia Clark for being in it. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. You could be in everything, nude. And of course, the Mandalorian. Like, yeah, they're doing cool shit. Mandalorian's fucking fire. They're doing cool shit with the story. So, um, I'm interested, excited to see what they do next. Then you they see they it, man. Um, uh, what's his name was in that one too? Um, Darth Maul. Yeah, it's the run of Darth Maul story now, yes. or, uh, origin shit, because he really got fucking screwed in the first movie. Oh, yeah. Like, huh? How do you fucking die that That dude's fast? a bad motherfucker with that fucking lightsaber bow. Yeah, and then you die that fast? Yeah. What? Yeah, they could have carried him over. Not to whoever the, uh, you and McGregor's fucking, fucking soft ass, yeah. Mulan Rouge looking <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> with your fucking side fucking rat tail. Get the fuck out, Get out of here. here, dude. You're fucking... Had one fucking was it him that killed her? Was it Liam Neeson that killed him? No, Liam Neeson got killed by him. That's right. 
And then fucking Obi Wan. Mm, Obi Wan. Fuck. He got mad. Yeah. You killed my daddy. Oh. What else? Yeah. So I'm excited. Cool Star Wars shit. At least it's yeah. not over. I still want to go see. Uh, I need to go to Hollywood Studios and check out fucking Star Wars Land. Whatever they call it. Oh, and see the Falcon and all that. Oh yeah. I mean, if you got like uh, six hours to wait. Yeah, and, you know, weekend to kill, dude. They didn't fucking open that motherfucker up till late today. Something, something happened or something. It was cold as fuck. They were like, eh, "Shit's frozen." Yeah, fucking droids don't want to move. <laughs> Their gears are wound right. up. Is there a ride there also? Yes. Oh. Not like ride ride. They're like virtual rides. <sighs> that aggravates me. You what? You want fucking you a roller coaster? I want something. Put they, me in the Millennium Falcon. Fly me around like the. They do. Huh? But it's fucking. But is it like um the Transformer ride and the Amazing Spider Man? Or is it like you're just out in front of a screen? Cause you know, like Amazing Spider-Man, it pulls it's, you around. It's like Avatar. I never been on that. What? I don't have. I've never. I haven't been to Disney as an adult ever. Okay. Whoa, Jesus Christ! Here we go. Sorry. You got another extra hour? No, we can't. I'm, I'm this this f- is almost. We're at an hour and forty-five. Okay, we're well, about to fuck a little rip. <laughs> we have a rip. Okay, Avatar <laughs> is by far Pandora. Yes, it's fucking the best. Like virtual ride I've ever fucking experienced. Right. It's, dumped a lot okay, of money did you ever it. um, you ever been to Epcot? No. Fuck. Okay, there's a ride. <laughs> okay, Avatar <laughs> is a lot like Soren. They put you in these. The whole premise is, is like you get connected. They put you in this thing, and then you're riding one of those fucking um, the things from Avatar, the dragon little things. Okay. Right. So. The fucking things open up and you go out forward. Oh, neat. So if you look down, you're like, oh, fuck. If I fall out of this thing, I'm dead. Right. Right. Because you're strapped up. in, though. Oh, you're, you're strapped in. A thing comes from behind you and pushes you up against it. So uh-huh. there's no way you can fall out. I couldn't. I'm, my fat ass is wedged. <laughs> Sigourney Weaver naked in this or no? She gets there. Okay. No, she's not naked. Damn. But the screen fucking goes all the way around you. Right. Like 180 degrees and it's fucking big as shit. And like, it's all virtual. Like, but you feel the fucking air in your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. You ride through certain areas of the thing. You smell the fucking flowers. You go over to the ocean. You smell the fucking the ocean. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you fucking ride behind these like fucking herd animals. You smell the fucking shit. It's fucking dude. It's so yeah. dope. Let's so it fucking dope. Yeah. So the Star Wars one is like that. They put you in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, and it's a big fucking screen. It's all space, and you're fucking fighting, and you fucking so you feel the thing moving. That. You know, you feel it. They, yeah. they do this shit to make it. Real. I'm pretty sure I'll puke on this one, but Let it rip, take they say, oh, yeah. <laughs> keep firing. <laughs> Very far up. Hit light speed. Yeah. Fucking pull off your che- Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Probably gonna get hit with fucking copyright with that, too. Oh, god damn. Well, you got hit by Lucas Oh, it's been films. a great episode. We can't count this one. Yeah. <laughs> got hit up by Lucas, Lucas Films. Lucas Films Limited. <laughs> Something by Lucas Duke. So, so what you doing after this? I guess I'm going to talk to the people that live with me because I don't have internet. So well, that's going to suck for you. I'll get to know the people that live. I there. gotta go hit up. Uh, I have roommates. I gotta see where uh, Heather Jones Mac is because she's got my baby Yoder. Mm. I think Yoda they're doing. Yoda. I think they're doing something at River City. So I'm right up there. What the fuck are they doing over there? A little car meet. Pete at Blaze. A little car meet. Yeah, my, cool, my man, I guess I'll just fuck off then. Yeah. I mean, you can go there if you want. Though. No, it's fine. I don't want your pity invite. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go home. Well, we took you know, yesterday off because it was a holiday. Ken- Is that why we took it off? And Kendra was home. <laughs> you don't want to spend time with your kids? That's cool. <laughs> I had to work. Not yesterday afternoon. Huh? You worked yesterday? Yes. Sucks to be you, bro. I don't. You know, the dealerships are open. I got to make. I worked yesterday, too, though, a little bit. Did you? Yeah. I saw you yesterday. You visited me at work. Oh, fuck. That's right. <laughs> what the fuck? My Damn, totally. dude. What did you fucking take some drugs today? Fucking peyote, dog. Got me dude, fucked Jesus. Up. You're like hard shit. Yeah. I'm hanging out with Rogan. The fuck? <laughs> Damn, dude. Don't do it. Just What's that shit called? Trip. I don't. I can't remember. EMT. That's no, not EMT. D- DMT. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, uh, what's the EMT stand for? Emergency, Emergency Medical D- Technician or something. Some like that. that sounds good. I'm gonna need yeah, one. DMT. I'm gonna need one if I do DMT. Bro, I don't have that kind of space in my brain. Mm-hmm. I don't need to know that there's more more dimensions. Oh, dude, I'm I can't take it. Yeah. I got enough shit to worry about, dude. 
there's there's levels. Uh, yeah. No. No, I'm not getting in your no. fucking isolation tanks. Nope. I do want to get a float tank. For just to just to feel it, but I need like I need somebody ready to let me out in like fucking thirty <laughs> if seconds. If I hit this dude. fucking button, you gotta open this motherfucker yeah, ASAP, dude. Rocky. Like I don't weightless. You can't see nothing. You can't touch nothing. Fuck you, dude. I'll start getting paranoid when butt gets tight. Oh well. You never know, dude. I'm talking about butt getting tight. I fucking had a dream about my ex wife the other night. Put this on the list of shit you don't say out loud, huh? <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't like that. No. Fucking uh, her her grandfather just passed away, right? R.I.P. So yeah, rip to him. He was he was a cool ass dude. <sighs> so in my dream, I went to my went to the funeral to pay my respects because you know most of them live up in Maryland. Sure. So I was like, maybe they don't, maybe they're not gonna come down or whatever. So I went and paid my respects, right? Yeah. You know, fucking Billy and Angela's there. Mm-hmm. Her mom's there. Her mom's new boyfriend's there. All this. Oh, you need, you need to come back mm-hmm. to the house and hang out like old mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll have you know booze and you know, we'll drink and have a good time. I'm like, okay, <laughs> cool. So I come back for, for a little bit, right? Sure. I get over there, get a little toddy. There <laughs> she fucking is, Hexy. So this bitch is fucking eyeballing the shit out of me, right? And I was like, this bitch best not try me. Don't try. I'm Don't break up a happy home. I'm, I'm like fucking tighten up my fucking wedding <laughs> ring. Right. You know, I was like, bitch, nah. Shine it up. You oh, see yeah. it. Yeah. Right. It's like, nah, bitch, you see where I'm at. Right. right. Go on. Get, get, get on. So I I just have a conversation with her. Sure. I was like, you know, I said I heard about you, you know, heard about you and the old boy breaking up after 10 years, you know, even though you cheated on him with, you know, on, on me with him. Right. You know, bitch. Um, <sighs> Yeah, you know, I'm sorry to hear about that. Cause, right, you, know, you got kids and all that. Yeah. yeah, you got kids and you know, shit sucks. I said, but you know, I said you already moved on to a new boy because you already brought his ass to Christmas. And she's like, oh, that was just a, that was just a just a flash in the pan. She's like, that was just a you know just to get me over Eddie and da, da, da. She's like, me and me and him didn't work out. I was That's like, way oh. to get over one to get under another. Right. <laughs> like, like she don't let them fucking sheets get cold, boy. Ooh-wee. So, um. So everything's fine, right? Sure. Catching you know, up. Just having conversation. Yeah. So um, she's like, well, aren't you married? I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm fucking married. Right. right? She's like, and she says something like, a, you know, where's she at? I was like, oh, you know, she, you know, she fucking works a crazy ass fucking schedule and, you know, she couldn't be here because she had to be at work. Mm. She's like, oh, well, that sucks for her. Right? Like, she looks at me. I'm like, bitch. Don't you. She fucking kisses me. Oh. Like she pulled right it on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I tripped and fell and landed in her badge. <laughs> right. Uh. Then she like pulls me into fucking another room. I'm like, bitch, what are you doing? Ooh. Right. And she right. fucking kisses me. Lays like, on you. She's like, oh, it's like old times. And I do. It's like she fucking kissed me. Right. I fucking, she wouldn't leave me the fuck alone. Right. I'm trying Power to get away from her. I fucking <laughs> knocked her out cold. Uh uh-uh, uh. With the luck of left. I just, right? I just bam. Oh, you, oh, I hit her. Hit her with a flat, 2020, flat baby. Right <laughs> These fucking equal rights right here. Oh, <laughs> equal rights and lefts. Yeah. That's so it. I just fucking hit her one time. <laughs> bam. She you hit the floor and I fucking left. woke up. That's it. Yeah. Damn, dog. I had you a got fucking some aggression issues. I had a fucking raging heart on her. Kiss me. I will fucking punch you. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking woke up. I was happy. My dick was hard. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, I don't know what happened. Was it because I punched somebody? Or was it because I got kissed? I, I don't know what the fuck was. <laughs> then I'm looking over Amanda. She's fucking sound asleep, snoring her ass off, and there's like fucking three dogs in between us. So I was gonna try to get some, put the old lumber to work. Damn, you should punch her and see if it was that. <laughs> <laughs> see if it got harder. Yeah, like yes, that's it. <laughs> punch her and it jumps. Damn, dog. Bap. Oh, yeah. Donkey punching left and right. Yeah. Damn, dude. Joey's Violent, fucking Donkey Kong over here. These are weird dreams. I don't sleep long enough to catch a dream. Only time I really dream is if I'm like in a fucking deep, deep yeah. sleep. But like with my shoulder, man, I don't want to fucking sleep. Modelo sleeps. Yeah, boy. TT night night. I need my cheeky nuggies, my chalky milk. Yeah, I'm fucking hungry. I'm gonna go eat while you go to your car meet. Yeah. I got I got chili now. I need to eat. Oh. Got some egg salad in there. Mm, chili and egg salad. Bro. Oh, neither together. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck. Not if you either. want to be sober and vomit, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sheesh. Woo. All right, well. All right. That's another one. Yeah, episode 36. Two hours. What are you going to name this one? I don't fucking know, dude. Newports and regret. Damn. <laughs> Equal rights and lefts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know. We'll figure it out. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Follow us on Twitch. Yes. 
because we don't follow the stream on Facebook, so we can't see your comments. But if you was a comment on the Twitch stream, we'll, we'll see, see it. it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in the so, future, we'll possibly have another setup where we have Facebook pulled up. I doubt it. But, I mean, it's it's kind of a distraction. What's that? Trying to read the comments while we're doing the podcast. Yeah. Everyone's it's not really. Hey, guy. Hey, hey. And, and that's cool. It's just not interactive. I always, I always go back and stream through it and like everybody's sure. comment and reply yeah. to them then, but I can't do it while. Yeah, I'm we definitely this. see the comments. We do read them, but it's like we can't be interactive yeah. in this format. Correct. I do like the chairs, though. The chairs I'm, are I'm gonna, I need a fucking pad. <laughs> My head's uh, killing me. Yeah, I'm going to need a fucking thumbs up from Dave about these chairs. Yeah. I mean, we're or not else. sending fucking duty brown ones. Uh, that's it. So. Y'all stay saucy. Stay saucy. Keep it funky. Peace.